considered to be rational and objective, providing a clear path for decision-making and problem-solving. On the other hand, emotions are seen as subjective and intangible, but essential for our well-being and personal relationships. Should you buy her a dinner, or should she learn how to cook to make a dinner? Who's right and who's wrong? Let's find out. Welcome to Emotions vs. Logic, the show that pushes dating and relationships to a whole new level. With your hosts, The Real Dana and Steve The Dean Williams. The Real Dana, aka Dana with the Data, is the former co host of the number one YouTube morning show, Star in the Morning. She's currently digital content creator and co host of The Man Up Show with Judge Joe Brown on The Real Dana YouTube channel. Her motto? what you think and love yourself first with over 40 years in the game steve the dean williams is an expert in relationships of all stages from the single life to the married life and all points in between steve teaches men to unplug themselves from the dating matrix of tv radio and some of these cupcake youtubers who cry about women all the time the call-in number is 833-859-8744. That's 833-859-8744. Who wins tonight, emotions or logic? Oh, we who wins tonight. What's up? What's up, everybody? Oh, my hand, the whiskey. Okay. okay, I'm on my cowboy Carter. I understand that. Wait, is that... A framed Beyonce ticket. <laughs> no, it's a. Let me tell you something. Don't play with me. I gotta. I gotta fix it more in a view. Oh this is God. a framed Danger Seat and Love triple platinum plaque, honey. Don't play with me. Of what Beyonce? Vintage. Yes, her first oh, album. Well, come on, man. Platinum plaque. It was. Oh, a gift. Come on. It was a gift come by on. the one and only star. I'm the star report. Oh, yeah, oh my hey, star is the man. Star is the man. Star is how long have you known Star for? Mm, probably seven years now. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Star is star is the man, and star is that guy. You like my hat? Ooh, honey, this is my stats. I'm about, listen, I'm I'm into the cowboy hats now. I'm about to get a red one. I got a white one, Bailey's. This is my Stetson, honey. That would be good for role play. Everything is not about sex. It's really about Beyonce right now. <laughs> just, it's, it's about Beyonce. It's about Cowboy Carter. Oh, man. Now I see. Oh, because she has a. Are you serious? Because she has a cowboy. What? This is why I got the hat. This is why I'm addicted now to Cowboy. Yes. I'm getting the boots. Oh, honey, I already picked out my boots. I should have bought it that day. I bought two hats. One, I got the boots. I'm about to do uh, probably in a couple months. I'm going to do the photo shoot with the boots on. I gotta um I'm getting my outfit for the tour, honey, because I know she's going on tour. I'm getting it telling me this time, honey. Don't play with me. Yes. Oh my god. Hey, Fox, don't, don't Fox, don't egg hey, wait, hold on, Fox, don't egg her on. Don't egg her on. Yeah, no, beehive. Yes, yes, no, yes. No, no. Love no, 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 uh-uh. Did you miss LJ? Yes, the hat, honey. Yes, fire. <laughs> LJ, stop, Miss LJ. American maid. Miss LJ, stop egging her on. This, this, she doesn't. Yeah, uh, uh, no. The Church of Beyonce, all you women, and she, uh, the, 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 this, the, that's not even country. Yes, it that's is. Country. Twenty-four country. She's from uh -huh. Texas, born and raised. I'm from New Orleans, daddy from Alabama. She's more country than you, just because you relocated to Texas, honey. You're not country. She's no. I have Cajun in my blood. I'm, my parents are from Louisiana, so I got Cajun in me. I got Cajun, but I'm from DV, I'm from DC, huh? What do you mean Cajun? Cajun, French, Creole, Creole, all that stuff. Yeah, Creole, Cajun, French. I got, hey, I got all that in because my parents are from Louisiana, but I'm from the District of Columbia. I'm not just from the District of. I was born in the oh, District. Of so yeah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. blah. Uh, anyway, shout out to everybody listening. How's everybody doing in the show? We have a good he show. Needs a safe place. He needs a safe place. <laughs> hey, hey, gentlemen, I do need a safe place. And what I what I do want to say to all you guys out there, K K, K I will look. All the women give you credit. I'm not going to deny your 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 fandoms from I saying. Have anything on my mind as. Old dude would love to see Love and Dana with only a 
<laughs> Who's old dude? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, but <laughs> I do need a safe place because I do want to apologize. I, and every, every once in a while, I always want to apologize to the men out there for crash landing on this planet. We were going to an orgy on the planet of Venus, I think, and I took a wrong turn, and we crash landed here on this desolate planet of human males that act feminine, and it's just, I, I'm still looking for the flux capacitor. So all my guys out there, I am sorry. All, all the men out there, I'm sorry for crash landing us here. I had no idea this planet with its resources would, would, would spew out soft males. It's disgusting. What's wrong? Okay, so the title is Should Your Woman Be Your Safe Space? I say yes. Oh, man. Wait, wait. Okay, I'm going to let her go with this one because, hey, gentlemen, let the emotions go first. For ladies, this is being brought to you by Massengill, Lifetime, and We Channel. So please explain to us men why a woman should be a safe anything to a man. Well, because we hold the secrets, uh, we see you when you're vulnerable and we need to know how to nurture that. You know what I'm saying? That's part of having a healthy relationship. A healthy relationship requires for the woman to provide a safe space and vice versa. A man should provide a safe space for his woman. <sighs> Excuse me. Women should provide a safe space for their man. <sighs> Uh, I, listen, don't you want, don't you want a woman who is supportive of your goals, of your ambitions? You know, um, you always say your program. I said supportive. You don't want a pessimistic woman. Do you, so, so what you're saying, a man should cry and, and, and I, when, when things go wrong in his job, he say, oh baby, oh, I need you to validate me for, you know, because life ain't going right. My job ain't going right. People are treating me bad. And, and what, you wanted to rub my head and cut my bread, you know, cut the, uh, cut the edges of the bread and put it in a dinosaur shape and then tuck me in. That, 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 why, a man does not need a woman to validate him. And that's the problem. Too many guys look for women to validate them as men. Um, I don't, a man doesn't need a woman for that. Validate and safe space are two different things. Ladies, we y'all, ladies, listen, ladies, 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 look, I know y'all love that hat, ladies, but stop. See, yes. Listen. No, but listen, first of all, shout out to everybody in the Southwest, um, in the South period, Midwest Everybody in the cowboy world, because listen, I was born and raised on the East Coast of New Jersey, North um, East Orange, North, whatever, NYC. So for me, it's like, damn, what have I been missing all my life? Good quality American brand and the music, Beyonce, House of Beyonce. So, yes, thank you. I think everyone go get you a hat, honey. No, I, I, I think that the women, the women uh that are supporting you and validating you i think that's a good woman thing i think i think women can do that with women that's fine all the women that are telling you how nice your hat is and they're team beyonce and they're and all this other stuff but let me tell you something all that with a man no a woman a man doesn't need a woman to validate him and a man should not look for validation in a woman or a certain space okay first of all um any Beyonce bashing tonight, your um your your wrench will be taken away, and on Steve's channel and mine, because I see you need hate, and we're not we're not doing no get out your them feelings. Okay, okay, I'm not down with the church of Beyonce. Do you another one? Y'all not gonna sit up. It's not gonna be um hating on Beyonce training. Oh tonight. my God, she can't. The country. I told you. I went over this. She cannot sing her country <laughs> music. <laughs> Come on, stop. Church of Beyonce, come on. Anyway, back to what we were saying, guys. What do y'all think y'all call it? But what I'm saying is, is this. Tell me, D, why. She act like Beyonce is Aretha. She the new Aretha. She's not the new Aretha. Oh, my. Stop. 
She's not the new Aretha. She's the new Aretha of this generation. She is the new Michael Jackson, the new Prince, the, the, the new Tina, honey. She channeling all of them. Yes. Should no. we just change the subject and let it just be a Beyonce show? No, 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 no. All we're, all we're saying, yeah, listen, listen, let's get back to the thing, because I want to know why a woman should be a safe space for a man, in your opinion. Okay, should I play a clip? Oh, wait, wait, should we play? Oh, wait, do we need to play the main clip? Or wait, you want to no, play? No. I want to play the clip that okay. that that helped me come up with this idea. Okay. Let's play that. Let's let's see this bull. Here. Let's see. All right, let's see here. She's uh, you got to share it. There we go. All right. So here we go. Add it to the stage. All right. What do we have? If I'm not able to be. Oh, stop. Come on, man. Stay. Really? Really? No, you 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 got it muted. Are you serious? What? what to... Man, go ahead. And play this, but hey, 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 guys, hey, hey, gentlemen, please go pee or something because this is about to be very feminine. This is about to be very feminine right here. I'm not able to be vulnerable with my spouse, with my woman. Then if I'm not able to be vulnerable with my spouse, with my woman, then I feel unsafe being my true self with my woman how crazy does that sound that means you will live with a woman 10 20 years you put a ring on her finger and have babies with her you know known the inside of her body with your body but you can't be the real you in her presence you they, can't take stop, off the mask stop, if the goal is to stop. please stop wait we'll fit wait 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 gentlemen oh no. it's only 43 seconds oh, so sorry, it's I'm sorry, go ahead i'm sorry please continue please finish please finish take off the mask then we're going to take, take off the off. mask. Yeah. There got to be a moment in your life where you could come home, toss everything down and say, look, it was hard today. And it should be safe to be that way. There are places and people that you feel unsafe with. God forbid that be the person that you lay your head with. Oh, you my God. All right. All right. All right. So let's. All right. Let hey, hey, all my guys. Gentlemen, let me tell you all something. There's going to come a time in your life, gentlemen, a woman's going to come up to you and say, baby, you know what? I care about you. And I really, I really like what we have going on. It's okay to share how you feel. Tell me what you think. I mean, we want to bond, gentlemen, right? And the moment you start letting your feelings go, they're going to say, you weak bitch. You want to know why? Because women don't want to date their girlfriends or other women. And that guy right there, and ladies, y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself thinking that a man should do something like that. That is, that is, gentlemen, some, I, wait, let me talk to the ladies real quick. Ladies, there are guys out there that want to tell you what you want to hear and not what you need to know. And every guy that's, that is telling other men to tell you their feelings, express themselves, cry, be soft, be emotional, and all that other stuff. You ladies know y'all don't want those. Hey, hey, Dana, how many of these women right now have guys like that on their roster right now? How many la ladies, how many guys you have right now that is so that, you know what? I really care about you and you hurt my feelings today when I reached out to you. I, ladies, come on, let's be honest. Let's be honest, ladies. How many do you have right now on your little roster that you're not giving the time of day because he's very soft? Okay, so like I said, providing oh. a safe space doesn't mean validating him or um, or your man being soft. Listen, you if you have if you are a very busy man, you have a very demanding career. You come home and a lot of times your woman, your woman is the only one that you could probably confide in to a certain degree. So again, I would not look at my man as being weak if he is frustrated and he shares with me his frustration or something that's on his mind. If I was to sit up here and be like, you weak as hell or, you know, push or, or just, just be dismissive then that's wrong. No, it's like, you don't do that. That That's not, that's not what, that's not what you're supposed to do. Now I'm not saying come and boohoo and, and be a mama's boy, but men have feelings too. 
And they don't think you are not allowed to express it. You don't express, you don't confide in people. You may confide in, you don't even confide in your boy. So sometimes, like he said, that woman who you married or who you had kids with, who you've been with for a certain period of time, a lot of times that's the only one, your only outlet at times, not every time. So when I, when I think of safe space, I think of confidentiality. This is why I I don't talk about my purse, what goes on in my personal life. If I have a man and he done slept with 400 women, I would never come on social media and say anything of that matter. You see what I'm saying? I would never share that. Not even my, my so-called friends. All right, Anonymous, what's your name? Where you calling from, sir? What's up? Thank you, RF. Oh, man, get off our shit. Man, anyway, let's get back. Anyway, so look, check this out. So this, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. The thing that most young men on that, that people lie about. So again, everybody's trying to find a way to get women. Okay, D. And they're trying to find a cheat code to get in between a woman's legs. And these women will always lie to you guys about how to get between their legs by throwing you off the scent. And I'm telling you guys, look at a woman's profile. And any woman you're talking to, you know what they're going to tell you? I want a sensitive, understanding guy that can share his feelings and share his emotions so we can have a deeper connection so our love can blossom and all that other fairy tale BS that a lot of people say. But real quick, we want to say thank you to Super Chat. Thank you for the Super Chat right there, man. Thank, thank you, you, G. G. Thank you, G. That's G. Let's get it, G. Thank you, G. Yeah. He said, I agree with him 100%. Leave that work at work uh, to, to be my safe place. Sorry, Dana, but he's right. I'll keep uh, his secrets. Here's the thing. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a woman saying she'll keep a man's secrets? Well, I, don't know I don't know. I don't know if it's a woman. Yeah. I don't know if it's a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I don't know. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this. Is that, no, hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. I like the deeper connection because I am the deeper connection, but I don't need to, I don't need to be feminine to get, to create a deep. Okay. Here's the problem, Dana. See, women don't know what they actually want because think about this. Dana. Just think about this for, uh, 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 for a second. How many women ask for what they want? An emotional, effeminate male and they have all these guys that are willing to be soft and emotional where they would take their spine and their balls off and put it in their purse. They will cry. They will express their emotions when they're upset. They tell them all the time, you hurt my feelings. I don't like the way you talk to me. Can, can we discuss this? And how many of these women just blow these guys to the side for the a-holes that are not emotional, that stand on their square, that don't show any chink in the armor. See, remember, it's all about the chink in the armor. Women do not want soft guys, Dana. They're going to act like it, but they don't want it. Space for your man to not make him soft. It does. What? Wait, 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 wait. So you tell me that guy that just in that video. I want to ask you about the video. What in the video that you disagree with what he said? What bothered you the most? Everything bothered me. What he's saying. Let's all right. Let's wait. Let's go to the video, and I, I'll tell you where to stop. And I will break systematically break down this bull. All right. So wait. Let me add this. All right. So let's go to the beginning. I'll tell you the pause, and I'll tell you where where he went wrong. If I'm not able to be vulnerable with my spouse, with my woman, stop. then stop. I feel stop. 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 <laughs> Gentlemen. You are the rock in the relationship. You are not supposed to cry, whimper, or anything around your woman. You must show strength. Women do not want men whose coochie is tighter than hers. And the first thing that he's saying, D, is he's saying that, listen, guys, put on your panties. Put on a little dress and some makeup on and have a wine, uh, a wine moment with your wife or your girlfriend 
to tell her about the boogeyman outside your door so you can be hailed by her. She rubs your weak face and tells you it's all right. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. First of all, I don't have a problem with my man being vulnerable. Oh, my God, Leah. <laughs> Cause that's not, cause I don't want you to, I don't, first of all, you're hard 90% of the time. I don't need you to be hard all the time. Oh. I'm going to just hard 24 seven and that's too much. Oh, oh man. Let me just say this. Let me just say this for context as well, because don't, that doesn't, when I say safe, safe place, that doesn't mean as soon as you meet a woman, be vulnerable, be open, and just leave with her as a safe place. You don't know her. So well, you might have well, some investment. Men don't attack other men. Listen, when you gentlemen, I'm telling you guys, all the guys listen to me. Just just think for a second. Where has being soft, nice, kind, caring, and thoughtful got you with a woman? The friend zone. The friend zone, and you guys don't listen. You go. Hey, guys. Answer this question, Steve, and I'm gonna play. Let, let, let's keep. Let's keep playing. Let's just keep playing. Go let ahead. Me, let me. Let me just. This question here is: yes. What is wrong with? Let's just say you are the asshole, right? In the yes. beginning, yes. and then you you dig her, and you you know you start taking her seriously, and you end up in a relationship. Sometimes the asshole can soften up a little bit once he has invested in that relationship down the line so sometimes the asshole can turn into a safe place no uh, you, you uh, okay you're king all the time gentlemen you do not share weakness if you need to talk to somebody talk to your boy that can punch you in your weak chest and wake you up the moment you share vulnerable guys get your crayons out because women don't want to tell you this the moment you share vulnerability with your woman, you have just given her ammunition to use against you later on down the line. You, The moment you start to share your, your little spineless little heart and start to shed a little tear and say, well, you know what? My daddy never pushed me on a swing and I just don't understand why. And she's going to be like, that's okay, baby. That's okay. I got you. And then guess what? Then y'all get in that argument. Y'all break up. And she's going to say, that's why your punk ass daddy didn't do that. I'll tell you guys. Well, Don't too. Um, grab Jay's question. Uh, Jay's. Oh, we got a few questions to ask. I know, but... I know, okay. I know. okay, I got, I got, I got Jay's locked in. I see the questions. I'm, I got them locked in. But uh, let's keep playing this video so I can help my guys out so they don't lose sight of the Honestly, game. Being my true self with my woman. How crazy does that sound? That means you will live with a woman 10, 20 years. You put a ring on her finger have babies with her you know known the inside of her body with yes. your body but yes. you can't be the real you in her presence you can't take off the mask if the goal is to take off the mask no. then we're gonna take, take off the off. mask yeah. no God. no there is no mask with a d i'm not saying listen as men and males okay the world is not a nice place it's not it's never been a nice place but you never come home to complain or seek validation from a woman to feel like a man, D. That's the problem. If I'm looking for a woman to define me as a man, then I am not a man at all. Why would I look for a woman? Baby, you got to be. Okay. And again, we get that K. Michelle. You know, when they talk about someone passing. Listen, even in death, if you got to cry, I tell them all the time, D. Gentlemen, if you got to cry, do not cry in front of your woman you get in a car you drive to the middle of nowhere and boohoo your little punk ass eyes out and then go back home and get back into the game never show weakness or be weak around a woman because they don't respect weak d they don't respect it but let's continue uh, let's see come on let's get it gotta be a moment in your life where you could come home toss everything down and say, look, it was hard today. And it should be safe to be that way. There no. are places I, 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 that you feel I, 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 You can say, you know what, I had a, okay, th you know what, baby? You know, she gives you a, a, you know, baby, it is a tough day at work. But I'm not gonna complain about it. it was just, you know, work was work. How was work today? It, it was all right, baby. It was cool. I got it. Even if work was hard on you, you know, shit, you, see, men don't understand strength. And men should never go to a woman 
showing weakness. I'm gentlemen, all these women out here will try to tell you, be weak around me. But guys, think about what we got you when y'all were in high school or in college and you listen to that woman telling you, go ahead and express yourself. Tell me how you feel. You can cry. You can tell me your deep-rooted things. And the moment you said that, she friend-zoned you. She got rid of you. Come on, man. Now let's get to the last bit of this silly-ass thing he's saying, man. And we got questions as well. We'll answer questions as well. But say flip. God forbid that be the person that you lay your head with every night. You in her. This is sad. That, 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 that is that is ultimately sad. That I, D, come on, D. You uh, can you know, so I could so I could say I wrote down my little notes, honey, because all right, go ahead. I have a damn panic attack. First I, of all, this bothers me, man. This is crazy. Don't act like don't act like. Men yeah. never cry in front of their women. What is that? I don't know if that feedback is my end. What? Okay, you ever saw the show Vikings? Y yes. Love it. I love uh, it. Ragnar, he cried to Lagatha when she was leaving him. And remember, he ran to the thing. Oh, so, wow. and, and I'm sorry, that's as hard of a man as it come, honey. I yeah. love, I love, first of all, I love all Viking movies and stuff like that. Also, also, the whole thing with this was so much content going around on YouTube and social media, fixing a man a plate to where, why is it? Because men used to be debating with certain women that when you have a family and a woman is cooking, you make the plate for your man first and you serve it to him. So that's so again, so that's still taking care, catering to providing that safe place or that place of comfort for your man so again so don't throw out everything like oh you can't you have to be hard all the time you have to be an asshole all the time and it's like no because if she is the one especially if she's the one if she's a good woman let's just say if she's a good woman right because the one is fairy tale if she's a good woman and you have to know a good woman a lot of men don't know a good woman when they see one they just don't but if she's a good woman with good character and you have invested in, you develop into this healthy relationship, vulnerability is going to show up. You're going to have to have to provide a safe place for you and her, for you, for, for her and for him. There's nothing wrong with being sweet on your woman. OK, I'm not talking about being sweet. I'm talking about the loyalty, being someone's confidant. I'm talking about being that ride or die. I'm talking about just, you know, when when everybody kicking that man's back in you're not kicking his back in okay i'm saying that now someone mentioned like sports let's, let's grab this call from dc uh, erico 202 what's your name what's your question erico 202 going once erico 202 going twice erico two hello yes hello yes How can we oh go? my goodness yes first i just want to say i absolutely agree with you I have never heard that from a man. To, I've just never heard a man speak it for me to really understand, to validate it. Um, but you're right. And I agree, even though just, you know, loving my man to open up to me, thinking that that's, you know, creating more intimacy at the end of the day, he's a man, I'm a woman, and I just agree. It's, it's just about maintaining a safe Space, um, for him to still gain, keep that respect because I think subconsciously we don't realize we lose a little respect even though I, I'm, I'm speaking it because now you're just being able to help me label what why I'm able to feel like I can say this now or not do this and I think that that might have something to do with this so I hope I'm, I don't ramble, but I just really wanted to validate and agree and say thank you for giving me and helping me understand the truth of, of that being true, whether we like the truth of it or not. Ma'am, there's nothing wrong with someone appreciating you. That's not validate. Someone saying, you know what? I appreciate the things that you do for me. I appreciate the cooking. I appreciate the, you you uh, be, even being there for me. I, I even appreciate you cheering me on. And letting me know you're there for me. That's that's fine. But when I have to say, well, I feel less than a man. And the only way I'm going to feel like a man is by you making by telling me things 
to fill in those gaps is where the problem comes in at. And I think a lot of women, they think they want an emotional male that is always right. crying because they because they want to, you know, because they like, you know what, I want you to share your feelings with me. I want to I want to connect with you. And I, I don't think they understand that when they start to make that connection, they start to see you're more like my girlfriend than a man. Right. Because I don't right. <laughs> no, you know what I'm I don't want. I don't want to sit around. Listen, I, when it, what when someone breaks into the house, you gonna get under the cover and get under the bed and tell me to go downstairs or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but no, Dana, Dana, please, Dana, you can try to break her beautiful mind. But please, Dana. Well, I don't break anybody's mind because everybody's growing. They're entitled to their own opinions and their own philosophy and ideology. But she did say safe space when she came on the line. You just didn't catch that. She did say, yeah, provide a safe space. But, but she but, agreed with you at the same time. So the caller did say the word safe space. Now, I don't know. I see everybody's everybody's history and pattern of their partners who they dated or who they're with, with are different. I know for me in a health, it just all I, I, I look for healthy relationships. I'm not saying you and, and men who I usually gravitate to all alpha, but at the same time, people who I've been in a long term invested relationship, yes, there were it was a space that was provided for me that I provided for that person. That no matter what was said, what was done, it's not going to leave between me and that man. And the reason why a lot of women don't want to deal with that, and that's fine. You don't have to deal with it. You don't, you should, you, maybe you want a man that you don't have to deal with that. That is because some people don't know how to provide that. And that's fine too. Because that's why a lot of men such as me don't even bother with, you know, opening up that particular door with anybody. So again, you don't have to want that. Now I'm not, I'm see Steve try to convince people. I don't, I do this for fun, but at the same time, no, I didn't say it's not that I don't want that. Let me, I thought I let me finish. wanted that. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Getting them hot flashes, honey. Um, oh and I got this hot ass. No, my, my, my apologies. My apologies. No, I'm just saying I'm hot. I'm just happy. But yeah, so stuff. again, a lot of times for me, for me, a lot of times people don't know how to operate in that space, which is better to deal with someone who's never going to open up that type of space for you to provide that. So that's fine. I'm just saying when when that when that man was talking on that podcast. Now, he may have went over the cliff with it to a certain degree, but there is a thing of providing a safe space, not just for your man, but for your household, for your what? immediate family. What is a safe Absolutely. space? Wait, wait, but what is a safe space, though, for a man? What can, a, what can a woman provide a man to give him a safe space? There's no such thing as that because the man is right. the safe space. And when see right. what happens that you women don't want again, some women will admit to this, but a lot won't. You ladies know you don't want that soft guy that is right. that is always taking the thunder from you. I mean, it's okay for you to be emotional. You should be. But a man coming in and saying, I I I, I don't feel good because the big bad wolf outside that door is scary. Steve, you're exaggerating. <laughs> Every man that I have been into have, you know, whether I fell in love, been in a long-term relationship, they are very hard. So when, when the opportunity, when they, it's been times when I had to, I, I was shocked to know that, okay, this person, I had to recognize this person is opening up to me to a certain degree. How are you going to handle that? Are you going to be dismissive? Some people are dismissive. They may be dismissive in a nice way. But the fact is that, listen, I didn't had the heart of the heart, the assholes of the assholes. But when you invest in someone, when that person knows this is a person of good character and no matter something that they may be going through and they cannot talk to anyone or whatever the case may be. It is going to be it's, it's going to be a time to where he will open up. And then, two. That could be that is a major 
test, don't do it intentionally, but just beware if a man is opening up to his woman and she's dismissive, whether she's nasty or nice about it, but she's dismissive, then you need to realize that is a red flag. Right, but but I'm just saying. I agree. But 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 what I'm saying, as, oh wait, but caller, what I'm saying to both of you ladies is that I know in your mind you want what you see on Lifetime and We Channel and Disney. That guy yeah. just sharing, sharing right. that little goofy tear and saying, "Right, you are my happiness and you right. are my heart yeah. and you are my everything." And every time you women get that, because you got that since elementary school, junior high school, high school and college, a bunch of suckers doing everything they can to try to get you to connect with them because they thought, well, you know what? Instead of being an a-hole, I'm going to be this super soft, nice guy to give you everything you want to be able to talk to you and share my feelings. But with feelings, gentlemen, uh, ladies, come insecurities in that man. Because the same guy that tells you, I really care about you and you made me feel bad is the same guy that's going to flip it where he's going to say, well, who are you on the phone with? Let me look at your phone. Mm. Uh, let me, you know, mm. I don't, I, where you going? Oh, wait, was you with Clarence today? I, I, mm. I, I, Y'all ladies, you, you ask for emotions, you're going to get emotions because that's a, that's a, that's an unbalanced nature in a man to act feminine. And if you want mm. a feminine guy, you're going to get that same feminine energy when, again, I do not believe in a man yelling at a woman, hitting a woman, abusing a woman, or, or a brow beating a woman down. But from the guy that is emotional, it's going to be the same emotional individual that's, that is going to, now I'm not going to say all women because I don't want to say, it's going to do harm to you women, not in a physical way, but they're going to brow beat you down because they cannot control something they should not be. D would say you. Mm. We'll call it. We'll, we'll give you the last word before we get to D. But do you have anything to say? Well, again, I just, I just want to say I appreciate hearing you because to me, I'm hearing a man speak who understands what a man needs and what a man is, as opposed to me as a woman wanting to have the best of both worlds in terms of okay, I want you to be a man now. Then I want to be a girl, you know, treat you like a girlfriend, open up, talk to me. But the reality is I'm not a man. You know how to be a man and what, and, and for me, I'm just validating hearing this from hearing you say this makes so much sense to me. And in terms of being a nurturer, I'm the number one in terms of my family. Of course, I get it. I'm just saying and now I can admit and realize I don't want what I thought I wanted. Do I want him to be healthy? Absolutely. But there are other ways, like he was saying, take a drive out in the car as a man trying to help other men understand, you know, how to have, be human. Because when I'm, not, I'm not saying, oh, that means he can't show emotion. That's what makes me uncomfortable. No, just how to do it properly in the role of staying in masculine and not the, trying to have the best of both worlds. And again, I hope I made sense with that. But the way... The best way is for me to just say, I hear what you're saying, my brother, and I agree. And thank you for helping kind of put a, a label on helping me understand what I want as well. All right. Well, thank you. And we'll appreciate you calling. We'll throw you back in. Thank you very much, ma'am. Now, hold on. Let me just say this to Southern Bell. Southern Bell, let me let me educate your a feminist emotional ass. Well, so let me get, well, hold let me, on, slow down, slow down, slow down with the insults, honey, because she is my uh, mind and she be on it. Like right. Renee, she be on all, she be, she's your number one mind. So well, I, I'm, if you want critique, just I'm, watch your mouth. Well, I'm, I'm going to do it nicely. Let me educate you. Do you think that you went to school and heard the answer one time and it soaked in? Do you think that you learn how to count your alphabets, phonics, and all this other stuff? Do you think your teacher just said, hey, this is one through 10, class dismissed. You don't need to be in school anymore. See, some people need to repeat things over and over again because some people need understanding of understanding. See, why are you in your feelings right now? I'm saying that this why is you what you this, this is how I'm just trying to show guys. The more you listen to me break it down, you can have women like this without spending any money. She can get you get the ass up for free, guys. You want to know why? Because she's so now, so now you're projecting, now you're assuming someone who you don't know you haven't seen. You're in your feelings. 
you I'm need not. you need a safe place oh, right about now. And I'm about to give you that safe um place. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to give you that safe space. So one one of the main things is one of the main thing what people don't people gotta realize and understand providing a safe space for your man nine times out of ten it's just a matter of you just listening it's not about you having a solution it's not about you talking it's not about you coddling him just listen all right guys the lines are open please call in we have questions before we get to the k michelle but here's some questions right here dave go ahead here you go um there are a lot of women that will stay with a beta male and be faithful i think it all depends on the woman is this why there are so many divorces uh, the, the reason I feel there are so many divorces is because most of you guys should not even marry most of these inconsiderate, disrespectful women that want to run your castle and your kingdom. So the problem is a lot of you guys want sex so bad you try to marry or lock these women down. And then you realize that they're bottom of the barrel, low hanging fruit. And then all of a sudden you want to cry about it like the red pill the manosphere does. They, they want sex really fast. You get it. You have unprotected sex. You get them knocked up. Then all of a sudden you realize she ain't about anything. And then you want to divorce her. So again, as a man, you are very choosy about who is allowed in your circle. I'm not even talking about marriage. I'm talking about the circle of my attention, the circle of my time, the circle of my respect, and then the circle of my, you know, my dick. But that's what I'm saying. But D, would say you on this. Pause with that last statement. <laughs> I got to teach my guys over and over again, Bell. <laughs> um, well, listen, you know, there are a lot of women that will stay with a beta. Yeah, they would, because that that man who was so-called beta to a lot of people's eyes, well, he doesn't care because he's a provider. She's gonna a smart woman. If a man is if he's providing for you, if he's protecting you, why would you not be faithful? Now, let me just say this. Um, a chick. Whether you beta or not, it doesn't matter. A chick, if she's going to, a woman going to cheat, she's going to cheat. There are a lot of women that I know that cheat on um, alpha all the time. Um, they just try to make sure they don't get caught. There are women that I know that cheat on betas all the time. So the cheating has nothing to do with the man. It really has to do with the woman. Okay, here's one. Should you never tell a woman your problems? D, I'll let you go first on this. That's a good question. Oh, it's, a, it's an easy answer. I'm, okay. I'm going to say the reason why I'm going to say no, don't don't tell a woman your problems because a lot of times it's coming from is superficial to where Steve is talking about just dating. Steve is not talking about the wife. Steve, Steve is not talking about the women who you've been with for some years or whatever. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to say no, no gray area, just no. I'll answer the question after we get this call. Uh, Error code uh, 209 or 299? 209? Hello, are you there, sir or ma'am? Going once. 209, sir or ma'am. Going twice. 209, sir or ma'am. Last time and call back. Okay, so uh, let me answer this question. Gentlemen, it, it's one thing of talking to your woman about your day. It's one thing to talking to a woman about things that are on your mind, right? But why are you going to bombard a woman with things that you should handle? A man should be able to handle his own problems without going to a woman to get a, a feminine and emotional thought or a pat on a rub in the back. You don't need that, gentlemen. And a lot of these guys have these mommy issues because a lot of these guys out here, you know, they take the umbilical cord out of mommy and then they look for a woman like mommy to be able to make them feel like men. Listen, the only one that loves you, mommy's going to coddle you, love you, care for you, and all this other stuff. But I don't even want you to go to your mother for advice when it comes to your problems. You go to find a man, a man that is going to really punch you in your chest by telling you, stop acting like a victim, take more accountability, stop blaming the world, and get off your lazy ass. Do you actually think a woman's going to say that to a guy, uh, uh, Dana? Do you think a woman's going to tell a guy, baby, you know what, they were meeting me at work. Do you think she's going to tell that guy, get off his lazy ass, because then she's already lost respect for him? 
She made oh, me on, it, but yeah, no. Yeah, let's just keep it a buck, gentlemen. Y'all, y'all, listen, it's okay to talk to women about things, but you should never complain. Listen, if anybody's gonna complain, let her come to you with the complaints that or the problems that she has, not to solve or fix. But to listen and wait for her to ask what you think. Because a lot of guys, they kind of mess that up too, D. They are always trying to fix things. And sometimes women just want to be heard and not solved. So it, that kind of goes both ways. But here's another question we have right here. All right, here we go. Dana, do you want a man that's a teddy bear? Yeah, honey. Especially the, the physical part of it. Honey, I need to hold and squeeze and cuddle. I need for him to wrap his arms around me. Honey, yes. I want a teddy bear. Wait a second. Wait, when you say, wait, wait, you mean like spooning and forking or like spoon, forking, all that? Whether, whether you just laying on top of me, pound, it doesn't matter. Like I, I need meat. I need a teddy bear. Yes, I need, I need meat. I need meat. So yes, I, I, and the right. whole teddy bear thing because you know what? Again, it's very, it's a turn off for me when you have that alpha, alpha, right? It's it, the the man is a hunter. They're out there hunting all day, and they come home and. You know, just let it all down, honey. And Here's a question for beautiful. What is okay uh, then in your eyes for a man to do when it comes from him wanting to share parts of his life with a woman? Well, I, I think, listen, I, I'm not saying a man should be uh, close himself off. I really believe a man should open himself up, but the openness should be doors. You know, it's it's the, it should not, okay, what happens with a lot of young men is that they want to show ev women everything all up front. They, you know, they want to, you know, I, I want to, I want to see, I, I'll give you an example. D, we had a guy that said he was thinking about moving a woman to his place. And I asked him, tell me three things about her. And he couldn't even name three things. He, said, he couldn't even name three things. So why did he want to move her? Did you ask him why? Well, yeah, we, I, I kind of stumped him, made him feel bad, so he ran off. But Yeah, but you need to stop doing that. How long have they been together? For two years. Okay. But if you can't name three things, okay. First of all, first of all, Steve, you can't name three things because you always tell your guys you don't care about what she thinks or how she feels or her wants and needs. You don't care. So if if so, she probably did tell him more than three things. But because you train your men to not care, he don't forgot. I'm not saying I'm not training them not to care. I'm saying she can have her wants and needs. But what a woman's wants and needs are tied into guys doing things for them. It, the, the one, not all, all, not all. that man saying, you, want, you know, move in with me. Excuse me? What is wrong with that man saying, move in with me? So because you, you need to stop well, stomping well, on somebody's neck and, and be more of a therapist. No, no, I'm you can be I, tough. You can still punch them in the chest, but punch them in the chest and why you're being a therapist, because you you missed out on a lot of information. Cause I would say, why do you if you don't know three things, then why do you want her to move in? What made you want to say, okay, I want her to live with me? He says it's called a sip. Right. But that's what I'm saying. It is a sip. No, but two being with somebody for two years. And I'm like, sometimes y'all women in this chat, y'all be capping, even the ones that call up, y'all be capping. <laughs> <laughs> you with somebody, you first of all, me and you together for two years. I'm moving in after six months. No, no, you no, no, you ain't. Or even if I'm not moving in, I'm getting the key. I'm getting the key. So again, two years and you ask she probably didn't even have the key. Two years and you want this woman to move in. That's a good enough time. Guys, hold she, on. She. <laughs> he, 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 no, that ain't that ain't. <laughs> ain't happening. Two years, that's that's a that's a good enough time to oh, oh. to come to the conclusion to where she is a good woman. I you know I want I want us to live together because he probably if he's especially if he's not married he wants to get married. I always suggest live with the person before you get married. So that's <laughs> All right. well. Let's break. Let's call three two two. What's your name? What's your question? Sorry, what's up? Turn the show off. Three two going once. Three, three, two, Hello. going twice. Three, three, two. Hello. Yeah, man. God damn. What's up, man? What's your name and what's your question, buddy? My name is Wise, and the question is in reference to relationship and the understanding of a relationship. Call it. Turn down the background, please. Please turn it down. Turn it down. Yes, turn, it down. turn the show off. Yeah. So yeah. Is is okay. All right. I turned it off. Okay. What is your question, sir? How can we help you, sir? 
I said in, in reference to relationship, uh, understanding relationship. Yes. What's your question? What What are the necessary tools in understanding the relationship? Oh, wait, you mean, the, when you say necessary tools, what, you mean the relationship that you don't have with yourself first or a relationship with the woman yeah. second? Which one are we talking about? With the about? woman. Well, with then, the woman. Then, okay, that's the problem. You cannot have any kind of relationship with a woman until you have a relationship with yourself. That's why all y'all guys okay. go wrong. You want to do everything for a woman and you know nothing about yourself. You have no standards, no principles, no mission statements, no laws, rules, or codes, or anything that you move off of. And then you meet a woman and you move off the feminine energy of the woman by doing the things she wants you to do versus saying, this is who I am. Either you're going to accept me for what I am or you're going to take your ass on. So I'm asking you, caller, what relationship are we talking about? The one with you that you don't have or the one with the woman that you were going to have afterwards? The one uh, that I don't have with myself. Okay. Why well, Dana is doing her. Okay, caller. What is it that, okay, let me ask you a question. When you see a woman, most of you guys want to hit it, and, I, and I'm not knocking you for that, okay? Most of you guys just want to get between their legs, hit it, and roll, right? You see what I'm saying? Not all, but most, right? But a man mm -hmm. that is actually in tune with himself is going to place his, excuse my language, his, I'll say it nice for the Dana side, his penis, no, no, no ditty. He, he's going to, he's going to put that last because his value and self-worth is so great that he's going to make that woman work for things. He's not just going to give his body and everything away then and, and, and allow the woman to take for free without doing anything. Does that make any sense? Yes, it does. But now I'm going to let Dana go because I know she probably has something to say, but I got something to say after her. But Dana, please, you got it, Dana. Oh, only thing I want to say is this Fitney lip gloss, it looks very pretty. Oh, my God. But it, every time I put it on, it tingles my lips. And then when I take it off, I get like a little bit of dry patches. I have to stick with Pat McGrath, but it does give me this shine that I like. I just want to do, do a FYI. So the quality is cheap, Fitney. Pat McGrath quality is uh, it, on point. Anyway, call it what I'm saying to call it. This is what I'm saying how deep the game is, okay? What I'm saying is the relationship that you should have for yourself is understanding the conviction you have for yourself. You have to understand what it means to be uh, uh, assertive. You have to understand that you have to challenge yourself each and every day, create direction for yourself because you cannot direct a woman if you're not self-directed. You have to have potential, not in trying to show off your money, your status, your clothes, or your body. You don't move off of that. You move off of your mind and your name. Your name is everything. Remember, some of us came to the Americas above the boat and some came below the boat, right? And your great, 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 all the way down knew the value of the name. And he, he gave that to your, your great, 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 great grandfather and so on and so forth to understand where you're at right now to appreciate your ancestors, your lineage, your lineage and everything that you have inside of yourself to stay focused. To, to drive yourself to, to be new experiences, to have to be creative, to be organized, to be proactive, to think and make solid okay, decisions. Can you have him call back on uh, all the time? Because you you sucking up my time here, honey, that you like to throw me off after two hours. You give him a whole goddamn time. Call her. Hey, when I'm going yeah. on live, when I go on live, just call back. Yeah, call her back because you got issues. Hey, call her. Call yeah. back and I'll lace you, dog. I'll let you just call me. Right. All right. Professional therapist on top of that. Call back. I got you, dog. Call, call you back. asking all the wrong. I'm gonna, wait a minute. How much? What do you do for a living? Don't worry about no say none of your business. Yeah, I'm a yeah. plumber. No. Oh, oh, you're a plumber. They make good money. No. Stop. Shut up. Wait a minute. So you a it's not about it's not about the money. No. It is. Well, that's one no, because that's one aspect that you got down already. You have a career, you make good money. Now you gotta work on everything it's, it's, else. It's not about the money. I know, I, I but it's that it's really about, about, sir, because you don't have the answers. That's why you brought into the show. That's what I believe it's about. What, so what is it about? What is it about? It's about under knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, be able to communicate with each other, understand the woman's. When you're speaking to a woman, understand that she's a woman first. So then what you're calling to the show for if you have an understanding? 
Caller. Shut up, Steve. Caller, come on, man. Come on, be quiet, Steve. Why do you call into the show if you already have an understanding? You call in saying, "Oh, um, how do you get a girl? You a plumber?" No, I, I wasn't oh, calling to ask how to get a girl. I, 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 I know how to get a girl. You stupid as hell, honey. I, you I, I don't got a problem with a girl, sir. Sir, you are a plumber. When I say you could lead with that, you be like, "Hey, what do you do for a living?" If she tell you, be like, "Well, I'm a plumber. I'm really good with pipes." Caller. The next time, a and then she's gonna be like, Really? Here go my number. Call her the next time. No, I don't you, work like call that. her the next time a woman asks you what you're doing. Let her know it is none of your business. I do not discuss so call wants a safe space. No, nope, he I wants don't. a relationship. There's nothing wrong with that. He <laughs> wants a safe space with a woman. That's no. why he called and asked you that question, Steve. No, I'm talking no. about the other thing, honey. You are a plumber. I'm telling you to lead with that. You know how many numbers your ass could get. If you go out to a lounge and you tell them what you a plumber? No, the ne- listen, you listen. You know how much ass you could get that night? Call her. But you calling his I don't really want all that ass. One is good enough. Okay, so you could find you one good piece of ass and you, and you could get that ass anytime you want when you go out if you just say you a plumber. Call her, call her allow. Right. Call her, don't ever tell a woman what you do. It's none of her business. Don't ever talk about your finances. No, I'm talking That's about, but I'm saying, no, no, no. The only reason why I'm telling him to lead with what he does because he's a plumber for sexual reasons. I oh, but he doesn't. He doesn't want to have sex. He wants a safe space. No, he doesn't want a safe space. He just, he just failed to realize. What does he want place. if he doesn't want to have sex? What he does did, he want? If he knew, if he knew himself, he would have said, "Dana." Well, I apparently, he knew himself because he told me, you know, blah 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 blah. So. No, he's giving out too much information because he doesn't understand no, that you don't you need know, to he had his long brotherly, you know, caressing his back or whatever therapy session, I'm sucking not. up my time. Okay. And this man, a damn plumber. Wait okay. a minute. So are you a universal plumber? <laughs> yes, I am. Cool. You make good ass money. You crazy as hell. Why you got a problem? You got all your teeth? I don't got no problem. Oh. Do you have all your teeth? I was just, I, I'm listening to the show, and I just wanted to hear what the brother had to say. Okay, but do you have all your teeth? I don't have a problem getting no woman. That's one thing I don't have. Do you have all your teeth, sir? <laughs> yes, I do. You got you own your own home. <laughs> Why are we getting in all how, of that? How many kids you have? How many you have? I got two, and I got four grandkids. How many kids you have? Okay. All right. All right, Carla. We're gonna hey Carla, just call me in a few That's hours. That's why you don't have a woman. All right, man. You don't know how to hold the conversation. What? No, no, no. They, they call her. You don't know how to hold a con. I'm trying to have a friendly conversation. Yeah. She's trying to run. No, you're not. You're you because you you're thinking too much. I don't know you. You don't know me. No, Since I'm worried about oh she won't right. get my money. Okay. I don't okay. know. All right, brother. I'll call you back. All right, brother. Call us back, man. Appreciate you, man. Let's All right. That's what your ass gets to right. you hold them on the line for so long with some BS. No, you do that therapy session in two uh, and a half hours. We're going to continue with this during, during your marathon. Got a question to ask. Um, here we go, right here. How can you uh wait? How can you uh, uh, at the same time uh, uh, help with your problems? His problems affect the whole family. I need a sign of- Really? 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 I, my favorite song on the album is Hands to Heaven. Can we just Hands to Heaven. search Beyonce for a second and answer this person's question, please? How can you care about your man and at the same time never want to help him with his problems? His problems affect the whole family. Well, that's a good question. It's a good question. But see, this is the thing. Um, men should learn how to be problem solvers. I agree. Now, you may ask your wife or your partner for advisement. You could take it under advisement, but because you are the leader, you get the last say so, the last word, and the last decision. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you should be a problem solver. Yeah. So, what we're saying is that a man should never bring problems to the doorstep of his family. You don't need, you listen, this is why. Men separate these things. You don't want to put any stress or strain on a woman by bringing things on her. That that's not what men do. 
The thing is, is that you have got to be a positive guiding light for not only the family, but for the woman to realize that through the through the storms and the weather, you are able to handle everything. I'm not going to say you're able to handle all things, but as a man, if you need guidance, find that in another man and go to that man where he can give you another perspective. That's what we're saying. Uh, but let's get to this K. Michelle real quick. Ladies. I want to ask the ladies a question before I play this. Ladies, let me know. If a man cried, how, I, I want to know how you women, how do you women? I'm just how you, if, if their man cried? If their man cried, what would you, if your man, all you ladies out there, I just want to know from the ladies. Oh, wait, 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 let's get this call real quick before we ask this question to the ladies. Area code 386, what's your name, what's your question? My, my name is Paul. And, and, and drizzle, drizzle. Mm. All right. Anyway, so as I was saying, so uh, ladies, we're asking you this what question. I don't know. Ladies, we're asking you this question. If your man started crying, and I don't care if it's a loss of a family member, I don't care what the scenario is. If your man started crying to you, Ladies, tell us in the chat room, and I will post it. What is your thought that you will have about that person? What is your thought? D, what would you think if a man came to you? <laughs> I lost, I lost my mama, or or I lost my job. I just, I lost, and he just started crying. Wait, you're 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 telling me. You're going to rub his back and ask, is he okay? You know, let, come on, ladies. Can we be honest, ladies? Come on. Ladies, can we be? I'm just grabbing the ladies. Listen, if my man what, came home or was home and he started crying, I'm going to think, okay, something tragic happened, like a mother, you know, passing away or something like that. So men rarely, whether you beta, alpha, doesn't matter. matter. Men rarely cry. So um, I'm talking about a grown adult, not, you know, minors, but. Uh, so for for so for a man to cry, and if he if he does cry, just like I I said to the judge one time, because he had two sons, and he was I said, did you cry when the, when your baby came out? He was like, no, for what? For what? And, right. right. Well, but it's nothing wrong for a man crying if he see his child being born. No, is that, that weak? That's weak. Yes. Uh, area code seven one three. What's your name? What's your question, sir? 713 going once, 713 going twice, 713 call back if you can. Okay. Uh, here we go. 703, what's your name and what's your question, sir or ma'am? Hey, this is Devon from Philly. And uh, did you have age? No, we, we just, what's going on, sir? How can we help you? Okay. Quick question about if I am. Um, on the right track, if if I'm if I'm in the right mindset, basically about this uh, girl I'm talking to. Yes, it's a it's a girl. I've been talking with her for like a year, something like that. A year. Wait, 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 wait. Are you, have you already smashed, or y'all just hanging out? Oh yeah, we we've been smashed, been smashed. Okay, so what's the problem? The thing is, she is hinting like she's getting pretty serious with me. And that's all cool and everything. That's not. But you want to know why okay. it's not? You want to know why it's not cool? Because you have not let your balls drop, and you're not leading her. A woman should not tell you these things. She should already know her place with you. Meaning that if you're not looking for a relationship, you be you honest enough and tell her all we're doing is just smashing. I do not want a relationship. I'm not looking for a relationship right now. And if you do not like that, and you want to find your happiness someone else, then there's a door you find it. But what you're doing is dirty macking. You're not being honest with that woman. And for a year now, she's asking something of you that you should already have told her where we are at as whatever we are. Does that make any sense, sir? Okay. That, that does make sense. But let me clarify. This is my girlfriend. We're already together and everything. So, okay. This, so it's, it's, it's beyond that. That's not exactly what I'm asking. The, the point where, what I mean by she's getting serious is just because I can tell 
Like, she's talking about future things with me and everything. Like, you could tell she's in that mindset where she wants to get serious. Okay, call. Okay, I'm fine that. I'm about you call her. What do you yes, want? Sir. Let's ask you that to start off. What do you want from her? What yeah, I want from her? If you say, I don't know, then this is a wasted call. What do you want from no. her? I got what I want from her. So then if you, wait, wait, what is it? Just sex and her just hanging out with you? That's all you wanted? No. We're, we're in a good relationship. No, you, okay, but, but, okay, wait. Real quick before I throw to Dana. If you got mm -hmm. everything you want from her, then why don't you be man enough to tell her when she brings up a future, say there is no future because I'm satisfied with how things are right now and we're not going to be anything other than what we are right now. We'll be nothing more. Why can't you be man enough to tell her that so she can make a choice free will if she wants to stay with you or move on? Because you're going to create a woman that's going to be mad and you're going to create a woman that's going to be is going to hate and going to be mean to men because of what you're doing, because you're not being real with her, young man. And I'm and again, I'm not team women here, but I like to keep it a buck. You always have to let a woman know where she stands with you to allow her the free will to stay with you because this is what we are or there's a door. D, you got it. I'll be quiet, Danny. You got it. I want to. Okay. Okay. I want to. Um, How old are you? I'm 25. How old is she? She is 26. Okay, so she's ready to look to marriage and you're not. So... What problem Literally, are you? But, I disagree with Steve. Uh, so you're not conveying to her the truth. You're 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 well, leading her on. Well, well, well. I'm the the reason why I'm calling is because that's where I'm at now. I'm contemplating what to tell her, as the far truth. as like when she when she's talking about future. And stuff. Say, um, I'm not well, looking to well, get married well, anytime soon. I'm not ready for that. So stop talking about it. Right, call you gotta be a man. That that's that's fine. That's all fine. Like I I what's can the say that. Then what's the problem? My my thing is okay. Yes, my thing is I I want to get married eventually. So it's not I want to tell her no, not like that. But this is a woman who has debt, and oh. I am a hundred percent debt free and not. And I'm wondering, should I really even involve myself all with right, that? Her. All right, call her. This is where you need to be honest with her. Say, listen to me. Now, number one, uh, you're not living with her, right? No, nah, no. Nah. Say, okay, good. Because you don't want to live with she debt. Yeah, you don't want to live with debt, bad credit, and all this. And I'll say this for women, too, so don't think I'm being mean, D. I want to say both sides. Never marry or date debt. <laughs> don't do it. Do not do it. But for you, young man... Don't use debt as a reason to not want to be in a relationship. If you don't want a relationship with her, just let her know that I like how things are going right now. Yes, I will eventually like to get married in the future, but as of right now, I'm not even thinking about that. And I would appreciate it if you stop bringing up this future as if you're going to be part of it. Is that mean? I mean, well, it, you don't it, want to say if you're going to be part of it. Just say, I'm not, I'm not thinking about a relationship, or no, I'm not thinking about a marriage. Like I'm, I'm content where we're at right now. I'm not ready for marriage, and you can list why you have a problem. You need, and you need to tell her. Listen, you have too much debt for me to even consider marrying you. Work on your finances, and if you are good with finances, and see, she's not. Why don't you show her how to be better with her finances? And if she does not want to listen to that, then that is a major red flag to where you need to let her go. So again, you need to be honest. She's not the problem, sir. You are the problem. You need to tell her, I don't want to marry you. One of the main reasons why is because you have too much debt. You are not good with managing your money. I can teach you how to manage your money. But first of all, I'm not ready to get married. And if I was, you have too much debt. So right. you start working on that. If you need help, I can help you. And no one pretend to sex okay, call. Okay, but help her learn how to manage. Yeah, man, help her manage your money because it's gonna be your money soon enough. But other than that, you, uh, you, I don't want you to have unprotected sex with her. Please stop doing that, okay? Because once you go down this road of telling her the truth, I'm not saying she's gonna. I'm not saying she's gonna trap you. I'm not gonna say that. Who's having, who's having protective sex? 
I'm saying he's in a year. You're in a relationship. I'm saying that he you're needs not using condoms. Pull out, sir. No, 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 no. They've been together for a year. First of all, who's using a condom with their girlfriend who's been with each other for a year plus? No, you're not using. I'm sorry, you're not using condoms if you've been with someone for uh for over a year. No, call her. Don't do it because I don't want you to get caught up but in no, it. No, just keep it a buck. Just keep it real. You and she, you can, she can say she's on birth control, but I don't trust no. that. You are not, and keep it a buck. You are not. You no one isn't using protection with their mates who they've been with for a year. So I'm just, you, sir, wait one second, Steve. Oh my God, if you, sir. If you don't want a kid, I don't care if she tells you she's on birth control or not. I know you're not using a condom. You just need to. Oh. That's no, don't that, no. The pull out game doesn't work. Call it, call it, because this thing called a pre cum that can get her knocked up. So what it's I'm saying, more you, probability, even though it is a probability, you, but the fact is that, and even all you suckers and people capping in the chat, stop mm. lying to yourself. Stop lying on this space saying that you use condoms when you are in a monogamous relationship, or even if you're not a monogamous. Anyone in a relationship for over six months, you are not using condoms. I'm, I'm just saying, D, I'm just telling the young man that if you're going to be if you're going to be honest with her, you please wrap up. You should do it anyway. But you you're your own man. I'm not here. I can't I can't police you. All I can do is advise you. That's all I can do on that. But with that being said, you have got to be honest with her and let her know that this is what we are and allow her to make a choice of if she wants to stay or go. But if you stay, you cannot throw in my face what I told you, or I'm going to kick you out. You got to keep it a buck with her. Okay. But call her, please. Okay. I'm serious. I don't I, look, please. I know y'all don't. I know y'all think cause y'all in a long relationship. Y'all keep just hitting it and nutting up. It feels good. But gentlemen, all it's going to take is a few times. You know what? I'm not going to take this burger. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to throw that in the toilet right there. And I'm going to go ahead and get it all. Oh, my God. I'm just, oh, my God. It's a miracle. We have a miracle, baby. Oh, my God. Gentlemen, please wrap up. Do not knock up anybody that doesn't have your last name. We want to be bastard kid free. And we don't want, we got to be careful about that. I'm just saying, caller, you do what you want. Like D says, you probably smash with no condoms on, but you're talking to a woman that's talking about future. I want you to add that future up with her saying, I want that future with you. And that future is going to be pretty soon. I'm going to be pregnant. And if you give her that future and you wrap up and she turns up pregnant, DNA test. DNA, you DNA test. Any woman that tells you she's pregnant, you get a DNA test regardless. Okay, caller? Okay, I'm here. All right, we'll throw you back in. You got any other questions, buddy? Well, yes, one question uh, for D. You have said if I wanted to help her with the finances, what does that look like? That looks like you being a man and you have your finances together, and then you sit her down yeah. and say, "Okay, let me let's look at it." Okay, look, look, uh, Beyonce going to a Beyonce concert? No, you, you ain't doing that anymore. No, no, no I'd be like, honey, you won't have to put that in my budget. How how can I pay off my debt and put money aside to make sure I get my Beyonce tickets? You are going to be her financial advisor. Like, if you are good with finances, then teach her how to be good with finances. You should be good. Hey, that means no Beyonce. Means that be, you mean that means budgeting in the 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 Stinson and the Bailey's cowboy hat, no. along with the boots, along with the tickets. No, and also, also, I understand you you have weed, which is cool, but we got to manage that. The what? We got to manage makeup. We got to manage dresses. I, I don't know that. The, wait, do your girlfriend have a weave, sir? No, actually, she's natural. Okay, so then you don't got to worry about the weave. So if she's natural. That's good. But I'm just saying, you got to you got to listen. All I got to say is, don't tell her what to do with her money. Suggest. Okay, listen. We got to bring your credit score up, number one. So we've got to start saving some, get you some money to start paying off your debt <laughs> that you have accumulated. So even if you let her go, remember, as a man, we always want to leave them better than what we left them. 
So even if you can fix her credit for her and you drop her, at least you left her off better than which she was. You know what I mean? At least you gave her a service. Okay, young man? All right. All right. So let us know if you have any other questions. Okay, buddy? All right. All right. Respect to you. Good call. Okay. I uh, got a question here. Because you always leave her off better than how you found her. I guess, I guess it depends on the type of women y'all pick up, but... um. It's always the opposite for me. Like I always leave them off better well, because that's when they realize, oh my God, that is, the that is the woman that I need. I did mess up. I did. That was my bad. That was my bad. Uh, anyway, we would say thank you for the super chat, man. Um, Steve, mm -hmm. is it game to tell a woman ahead that I'm non-monogamous ahead of the time? And she denounced it. Wait, 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 what, what, what do you, wait, dog, why do you care? Why do y'all care, what, gentlemen? Got to get into the game, man, and stop worrying about what Wait, women gonna do. Can you pull it oh, up? Sorry, go ahead, D. I'm sorry. There you go. He's saying I'm I'm an, I'm uh, non monogamous instead of the time. Hey, listen, okay, sir, sir. If you want to, if you're dating several women, then be honest with her. Let her know you're not the only woman in my life to give her the free will to make the decision. That's what men do. Give women free will based off the truth. Then that way, when she makes her decision, it's fine. But ladies, let's get back to the ladies real quick. Ladies, before we play this clip, I want to know from you ladies, if your man was crying to you, and I'll give you an example. If your man started doing this, ladies. I can't even do shit right here. And you know that, man. Why are you doing me like this, man? Everything I do is a fucking problem, G. And I'm sitting here tell you I don't have nobody, man. I'm going through a life too, G. All I know is you. And you really trying to hurt my heart, G. Now, so ladies, if you ladies, that's how that's how they sound when y'all start crying. Like, guys, anytime you cry to your woman, that's you right there. So I'm asking the ladies, ladies, what would you do if your man came to you that way ladies i want to know from the ladies i want to know from the ladies your man comes to you baby maybe can we talk baby just play the k michelle video all right i'm playing i want to know from the ladies but I, now she want me to play the k michelle all right here's the k michelle here we go we're gonna and we're gonna discuss this hold on let me here we go here's the k michelle here we go uh at six you want me into private because then i don't feel protected for my last ex who cried <laughs> you <laughs> like it I would like to be better about that, you know? Like, I, I don't want to see. I don't know. I don't mind them crying, though. I think they should be able to be vulnerable. I do. I think men should be able to cry and be vulnerable. Yeah. But for some reason, once they cry, you know what happens to me? I turn into the man. No. You got to be the wrong one. When they cry, I be like, I <laughs> like that, like, <laughs> Oh, what they crying about? So if they had a death in their family, if we both mom, cry, I get it, family. Oh, I'm not saying that. Yeah, we but I'm talking about like if something some... don't go their way, like a cry. Oh no, 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 no. But like if someone dies in your family and they things like that, they, 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 the no. and you know, like having a bad, like I just don't be want men to cry because then I don't feel protected. But I feel like so much. All right, so D, I agree with her, and a and 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 it's a shame that woman. What if what if a family member, cry? gentlemen? I'm not. I, I I hope your family members live forever, but things die and people die. But if a gentleman, I don't care. I don't care. It, I don't care what happens in your life. You never. Go to a woman crying ever. I, even death in a family, you hold that in and be the rock. And if you want to cry, get in your car, go to the middle. Like I always say, I'm repeating myself again. Cry. Cry. Hey, boo-hoo. Hey, guys, get this. <laughs> I miss you, mama. Oh, dear mama. Oh, my mama, God. You can do all that. And then, look, 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 look. You know what I mean? Look. Wipe your tears. Oh, oh I got a clip. I got a clip. Let me, I, I give me, I give me, I give him an example. I give an example. I got an example. I'm crying clip. I don't want to do that. No, this is, no this, is, this is a clip of strength. This, this is what I call it. I always show my guys a clip of strength. So in this clip, King Henry 
from the great. You ever watched the Tudors? Love the Tudors. Oh, then you know, you remember Henry lost his wife. Remember that? Remember Henry lost his wife? Oh, his, uh, third James, wife. the one that died. The one that died, yes. James. This right here is how men should be. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys. What you're going to see is the king crying because he's sad. But then his, his gesture, or his mind really, woke him up. And this is the beauty of men, right? This is manhood right here. You're allowed to feel bad, gentlemen. But you I will get to the fucking clip. I, I just get excited on it. All right, all right, watch this. All right, gentlemen, watch this clip of manhood. Watch this. I know. But this too shall pass. Why go on dwelling in darkness? You know that the land of the wounded king is only a parched wasteland, thirsting for rain and your majesty's grace. My God, I love, I love, I love, hey, gentlemen. So gentlemen. he was crying to his gesture. Yes, he was crying to his gesture. He, he was, he was, he was trying his gesture. But what I'm saying to, and for my guys out here, this is what manhood. Hey, you, I don't know what a gesture is during that time. They were like the Joker. The Joker to make him feel good. So he make would him laugh. Yeah. Laugh. Right. So what was so great about that thing, gentlemen? was a moment that I always say in your mindset that it has to be a point to wake up and realize your value and your strength. And when you realize value and strength, did you see how broken he was? This is why I tell you guys, it's okay to feel bad. It's okay to be sad and all the other stuff. But there has to be a moment that you've got to wake up and wipe the tears and wipe the sadness and wipe that thing and go eyes forward like a man. Because even in Vikings, remember in Vikings, D, remember what he, Ragnar told his son? Why are you looking that way? We're not going that way. Why are you looking, in the, why are you looking back? Men don't look back. So that's why I love that. That's why I try to help my guys when they're feeling. This was after he cried when Lagatha left. My God, will you leave Lagatha alone, man? No, because that that was that was that was his soulmate, and he did honestly. You know, I didn't like the way he did her, but it is what it is. Life goes on, but that was his soul. But he cried. He cried. He cried. Wow. He ran, he ran over some mouse, honey, to catch that carriage. He was like, where the ass you going? She was like, baby, I can't do it. No, that's okay. You see, this is a thing. Oh, of right. He boo hoo. And that's, that's his, that's you talking about warrior. That's as hard of a man you're going to get. This is the thing about TV, ladies. Let me explain something. They need the female viewer in. And sometimes, like a romance novel, they always got to make the hero seem vulnerable in some little bit so a woman can get more attached to him. <laughs> How do we got a call now? We'll answer this question in one second. Erico 571, sir. What's your name and what's your question? Hey, this is Peter. I called in a couple months back when I was just off my deathbed, and I apologize for how I sounded back then. But um, I was listening to your relationship advice about debt. Yes, sir. How can we uh, so when I met my wife, uh, she had been through two bankruptcies. And I was in debt for uh, back then. It was like $8,000, which was the world. And when we came together, we made each other stronger. So uh, I'm not sure uh, how everybody's situation fits in, but... Sometimes things do do work out the way they're supposed to. No, they don't work out the way. As a man, they work out the way he wants them to work out. I, I don't understand. You, <laughs> were, you, 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 said, you said she had debt. And again, I can't knock you for the choices that you make, but I would tell my listeners. Oh, I, I, had, I had the debt. 
Okay, well then you're. But she okay. she had she had been through bankruptcy, okay. so she had no credit. Right, but what I'm saying is, is that that's a person that cannot handle money well, and that's a red flag to. A, I don't want any man to marry debt or marry bad credit or marry someone who cannot handle money. No, that's not a red flag. The red flag is if you are good at it and she's not, and she's not willing to learn to improve. See, right. see, this is this is a problem that I do have with you men and, and males. You want her to show up and have everything in order. No one isn't like that. Men are not like that. So again, one of the tests is the, t the test isn't creating a situation. The test is trying te teaching her something and her willing to be taught. Yeah, and and that's what I'm saying. Um, uh, and I'll give you an example. If you're not good with your finances, or you're not, and she's like an accountant or something, she knows you know how to manage. There's nothing wrong with learning to learn, and then you move forward. But it like both of them were not good with finances. Yeah, they're not good with finances. So well, no, she she had been through college, which uh, you know her degree was in geology. And what what, what can what, what job can you find with that? So. Uh, you know, holding a whole, whole lot of student debt and she couldn't pay it. And, you know, all she could do was get, you know, some, some kind of small jobs here and there. Yeah, student debt doesn't count. Student yeah. debt doesn't count. Um, I have students. I'm not, I'm never paying my student loans. That's my reparations, but I don't have to. But, um, and then too, depending on what her career, it gets wiped out. So don't include student debt as bad, bad debt for your partner. Right. Well, it wasn't debt. So she paid out her debt by declaring bankruptcy, right. which was all the thing. She, 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 she declared bankruptcy from some other stuff. Right. And she did it twice, caller. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. Well, now we're, I think we're sitting pretty, pretty well. I mean, we're, we, we've got our own home. We've got a, uh, a kid in a high school and, and, okay. you know, we've, we own all our own stuff. So no, that's fine. it, it that's took, you know, it, it took, you know, about five years to get through all that. Okay, but, call but we, you know, but call her. I understand what you're saying. But see, the thing about what I do is I help young men with preventative maintenance. I don't want a guy to have to dig somebody out of that Grand Canyon of debt and work with them that way. I want these guys to have their life in order, have their life together so they can lead a woman like D was saying. If you have debt, yeah, you young. You said young men. That, yeah, that's what well, caught my because we we had both been through a, a marriage before. And that's fine, but you are not your marriage, and the debt doesn't have that. The marriage is done. I'm saying that when you meet her. Okay, so this is the second call, and let me say this too because, um, like, my my so called debt is under five grand, right? So that's not a lot. You could wipe that out in three months, you know, or less than that. If you got debt like twenty k. <laughs> If you got debt, debt, or you don't, some you talking about filing from bankruptcy, you know that's someone that had a, some other stuff, yes, some means, some other stuff going on. So again, I think I think when it comes to when men say I don't want to take on her debt, you got to ask yourself if you really like her, you need to start inspecting. Well, what kind of debt do you have, and are you willing to pay it off? So. And, and and that's what you have to add. And again, this is a, a serious conversation with only if you're serious with a woman is you're going to have to say, you know, let me look at the books. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rodney. Rodney is wrong. Rodney says all debt is bad. No, actually debt is good. Well, I, I, I well, I kind of agree with Rodney, but I see what you're saying. But I'm just saying that I just call her. I'm saying I want to look at the books. I need to know how you're moving and how you're moving your money because I, I as a man, you don't want a uh, a weight that is going to hold you down. But also, but wait, with that being said, ladies, ladies, I know, listen, ladies, you have every right to say, let me look at your books because I need to know what your credit, gentlemen, ladies, find out the credit score. Find out how much debt they have before you even do anything. You, I'm, I want to keep it fifty-fifty, D, because I don't want to seem like it's just one-sided. But well, I'm just saying as a man. How, how, how long? All right. So let's say you're just meeting up for the first time. How long is it before you, you know, because you know you just meet at a bar one night. How long is it before you, you know, you're in that that committed relationship before you say, let me see uh, your debt, year, let me see your year, books? A year, year and a half. I mean, yeah, that's I mean, listen, somebody asked me what's your credit score. I'm like the same number as yours. Well, yeah, you don't talk about credit. That's that. Okay, that information is none of your business. I'm gonna yeah. say my credit score is your credit score. Right, and, and what I'm saying is that this conversation starts when y'all decide to live together. 
I don't, if you're in a relationship, that's none of your business. And that's why I always tell you if she needs some gas money, this is why I always tell you guys, your job is not to give her gas money or, or side money or anything like that. Twenty dollars for gas ain't nothing. All right. Can we move on to the to discuss the clip? And I got another. Oh, we got. Oh, call is Mary. Call her. Why are you asking? Well, 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 well. Before you get a mortgage, but but uh, before you sign a lease. Yes, call it, but we gotta let you go, call it. But uh, please call. All right, yeah, thank you. All right, have a great night. I love y'all. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Eric code two hundred two. What's your name? Where you calling from, sir or ma'am? Eric code two hundred two. Going once. Yes. Yes. Quick, quick question. Yes, ma'am. Do you have? Is there a public figure in terms of female that you respect in terms of seeing her always in her feminine energy, or you know, because. I'm I'm looking for an example as I'm literally actively working to learn myself and do my inner work. I was about to say that me, the co-host, honey. I was about to say No, I was looking at you dancing and shit. No, no, no. Uh, uh, call, call. Oh, I, yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna point at you. I mean, it was easy to be like, no. I'm done, my co-host. No, 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 no. I'm saying this, listen. Don't look to another a woman. Look to the leadership of a man to know how to be a better woman. A woman is not going to show you anything but how to feel. If you want to cry and drink some wine, hang out with a woman. But you need more guidance. Mm -hmm. Watch me, how men move. Men, a hey, man. Honey, the question is, how can she be? Please don't interrupt him. Please don't interrupt him. I'm really listening to him. I can, I, I can interrupt because I'm a co-host, so I can interrupt. I want you to, yeah. so, no, but, so my thing is, you know, the question that I want to ask, I'm asking him the question. The question that I want to ask you, the question that I so okay, so let me let me let me just set the room because this is a co-host. This is not Steve's show. This is Dana and Steve's show. I could interrupt him because I run shit over here. Not you, the callers. Not even the people in the chat. So if I interrupt Steve, I can interrupt Steve, Miss. Well, if the goal is for you to run it, go ahead, run it. I think the goal is to help answer so we can learn and grow. You know what? It sounds like you're over 30. Now I sound like you're over 30 and you're trying to learn how to be feminine. So that sounds like you you need to go to a therapist. You don't need Steve can't teach you how to be a woman. You can't learn how to be a woman by following a man. Yes, you can. Well, you know what? You know what? If part of being a woman is to know your place and to understand you stepping in somebody's house, my house. <laughs> so you can't tell me what to do in my house. You see how that works? See how women are so catty with other women. Ah, right. you know, I'm, you know, first of all, I keep it even, Stephen, honey. I'm like this with the men too. I don't do favorites. Uh, hey, You're hey, not gonna come in my house and tell me what I can and cannot do. All right, 202, just call when I'm on my show and I'll be glad to guide you as a man, okay? As a man. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Call on the overtime. Call on the overtime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I act you. like the women can't get it. Oh, my God, boy. Wait, Erico 713, what's your name? Where you How you want to come in my house and tell me what to do? <laughs> First of all, take your shoes off when you come in my house. 713, can we help you, sir or ma'am? 713 going once, 713 going no, twice. I'm off. All I'm right. I'm going to cough him off for the rest of this goddamn All right. Let us continue. Uh, D, uh, what would you like to say about the crying? What would you like to say? Because I know you have other clips. Go ahead, D. What's up? Well, first of all, you know, she kept touching her boobs in that clip, honey. And for the boob job is lovely, Kate Michelle. Oh, she's my very God. Very talented. But I get what she's saying. I get it. I get it. But again, some women, just like the caller just called in, they're used to being in their masculine all the time. So, and like she said, if a man cries, she'd be like, I understand certain situations, but she'd be like, oh, she, be, she becomes the man. And that is someone that has to, that's something that a woman has to learn is never become the man in any situation. Replace the man if you think he's too weak, but never become the man. Wait a second. How can she not be the man when the guy is crying like a woman? But you don't have to react to that like a man. But it's a trigger. Okay, uh, Erico 713. Hey, how you guys doing today? What is your name, sir? What's your name, buddy? My name, my name is Sean. 
I'm calling from Texas. Yes, yeah, Sean. How can we help you, sir? What's up, buddy? Oh, man, I'm just calling because I'm, I'm a huge Dana fan. I've been following her for a few years now, her and Mr. Joe Brown. And um, I'm just really inquiring about what you guys are talking about as far as the dating scene and things of that nature. And I just wanted to touch on, you don't want to miss out on a beautiful wife, you know, a good woman, just because her credit is bad. You understand what I'm saying? Because right. she can have bad credit. Yeah, she can have bad credit and oh. these things starting off, but you know, to to you know, was, as a team, you work together. Nope. you guys can work that out. Nope, cannot work. And that's the, why do you hate yourself, caller? Why do I hate? Man, I love my. But if you loved yourself, really you do. would not accept anything below you from a nobody that is can't handle her own. Listen, we're all grown ups here. And if a grown up, rather for ladies, it's the same thing. So I don't want y'all things one sided. But I'm talking to you. If it, how can someone be beautiful when they have ugly bad credit? How can she be beautiful when she cannot handle her finances? What makes her so beautiful? Okay. You don't see that as a red flag. What makes what make oh, what makes it so beautiful is you got to understand we all have some kind of way of growing in life you understand so we can't look at a person flawed and don't think we can fix it as a as a couple you should work together and work you know work for one another and help build you know so we can straighten things out i mean i'm not a quitter you know if i get a woman that i see that has potential that can be great because i know i'm great and you know i know things can work for the better caller stop are you serious i mean hey i mean listen I mean, I'm just telling you from, I'm, I'm 44 years old, you know, um, you know, and I've been down the road. Yeah, I'm not, a, yeah, I ain't even start, so I've been around, you understand? So I want you to understand one thing. You thought she was 55. I'm 52. Caller, I'm 52, so I'm 52, caller, so... Trust me, okay. I, I've been, 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 been around. So what I'm saying to you, young man, is that you got to make sure that you are a standard and you operate on a level of a standard to say to her that we cannot move past this point until you are a responsible person, meaning that you handle your business. Because if you can't handle your business, that is unattractive to a man. And ladies, it should be unattractive to you. If you're dealing with a guy that is not handling his financial situation, get rid of him. But call her, what say you on that, sir? It wasn't even begun for me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But he, he wants to, <laughs> but you want to work it out. Why why would you want to? So you're telling me you meet a woman that has bad credit and and and, and has bank oh. um, financial problems and she's always asking no, for no, money? No, no, no. No, what I need is a woman that has my back and has my best interest and, and ain't scared to talk about what's going on in life and what she struggles with and what I struggle with. You, wait, That's wait, what wait, I wait, need. Wait, I need wait, somebody. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me give, let me give you let me what? give you a little more. Hold on. I need a woman that once I get old, I I, I can expect her to wipe my backside uh, in case you know what I mean. When I get up that that, that ladder, we don't we don't. We I, don't I, I don't. I I understand what the call is. Okay, in front of us. You remember? You remember? Uh, you know, remember? You gotta, son, Elizabeth, I'm coming to join no, you. No, 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 no. I, I totally get the call. Wait, 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 he, he said something. Wait, oh. listen. Do you, do you cry in front of your woman? Would you cry in front of your woman if you if you, something happened? I, I mean, I would cry. I cried in front of my woman. You know what I cried about? I cried about because I was going. What is the old Jays? What is that famous song by the old Jays? Yes, yes. We you cried to cry together. I don't cry all the time. I, you know, you don't cry all the time. But sometimes I can't sing that song because it's because I'm not a singer. That's but right. The old Jays made a song about crying to your woman. Cry, you wait, 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 call her. Yeah, call we her. cry together. You say call we cry together. together. We cry. And together. then, and then, what happened after you cried? Yeah. And then you made love. Yeah. Oh my god. Then we made love. Call exactly. Her. That's how. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. We don't understand that part. Yeah. He want to be tough. You can't be tough call all the time. Sometimes you, wait, you gotta cry. Her. Call you know, you gotta let it out, my man. Call her, call exactly. Her. And he wants, he wants that. <laughs> he wants his person there when he's in his seventies and eighties. Because uh, let, let's keep it a buck, man. Majority of men, y'all die alone. Y'all die alone. This man don't want to die alone, and I don't blame him. Caller, let me, yeah. call that's her. a scary thing. Caller, I don't want to die alone. Caller, after you get done crying, 
Do y'all set your periods to, together? Do y'all y'all mark your calendars when you cramp up and have your periods and stuff? Because what kind of feminine thing are you doing? Why would you cry in front of your woman like a girl? Why like, would you? you the whole day, no, it's not. No, 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 it's not crying like a girl. It's crying because sometimes you have pain that's so deep inside. Oh. That sometimes you have to cry. And guess what? She don't want you to cry around. It ain't like you're crying around in front of a whole crowd of people just whooping in. Well, no, sometimes you gotta cry to feel your strength. <laughs> Crying don't, 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 don't take away. It adds to you. You understand me, huh? <laughs> Carla, you are a comedian, dog. Hey, talk. You, you to cry you sometimes know. to get broken down, so you could, so, so you could be built, built back up. So she could build you back up. Hold on, hold on, dog. Exactly. No, exactly. <laughs> Dog. Tell me a time you cried with your girl. What ever made you cry with your girl, dog? <laughs> I mean, listen, man. Uh, this, you know, it, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's been about six months. You know, I had thought about you know my mom and my father passed. You know, and I was just driving. I wouldn't, you know, and I wouldn't like oh boy laying in that guy laughing nobody like that. But I had some tears come out my eyes. I wouldn't just uh, all doing all the extra, but tears came from my eyes. And she's like, "Baby, what's going on?" I told her, hey, look, this is what I'm dealing with. Because sometimes, as men, we cry. Even with, with our woman or without our woman. Sometimes you might be in the car just going through it. That's why I'm not I, a I love what this caller is saying. He's keeping, it a, he's keeping it real. He's probably one of the realest callers all night. No, caller, I'll give you a moment where I teared up. You want me to tell you a moment I teared up? You want to know what it was? Call when, okay. Because Dallas cannot <laughs> win the Super Bowl. <laughs> The in Cowboys, Cowboys, Cowboys. 1983, the Cowboys are in the NFC Championship against the Washington Redskins, and my favorite quarterback of all time, Danny White, dropped back, and Dexter Manley came around the corner, hit him, gave him a concussion, and the Redskins went on to play the Miami Dolphins. I well You cried about that. No, you I cried about that. Oh, you know that. that. Proud about that? No, you're out of time. You're out of time. I didn't cry. I welled it up. I welled it up because I was oh, passionate. Like another time when I was playing football, like when I, we 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 got we were undefeated and we lost. I, I welled up. That was passion. But to sit there and go to a woman and <laughs> oh boy. man, come on, man, that's soft, man. Come nah, on, man, we nah, don't nah, do that. Now nah, nah, nah. I, I would say, I would say, look, they they called it that, that video you showed earlier with the guy come on, that's crying you. like that. Come on, <laughs> nah, that's too much. Nah, nah that's too, he you. put too much on it. Nah, See, nah, nah, put, hey, I ain't going there. I can't even do shit right here, and you know that. Yeah, when you cry to your girl, oh. that's what she see. Hey, when she tells she doing oh. this, she doing this. It's okay. Oh no, nah. it's okay. Nah, is this nah. motherfucker crying? Nah, listen, man, oh my you know. god! Oh, and, and, and she like, oh my god! Now I gotta be a man. Now I gotta be the man because my girlfriend oh, is nah. crying. I, I heard that. I heard um, what's that? Um, that, that uh, chick was talking about that. Sometimes, like to be honest with you, it's a time and it's a time not to cry. You understand? You don't just be. Every day you get out of work, you know, just nah, it don't work like that. Sometimes when it, the pain hurts so deep and it runs deep in you, then you got to spill tears. I mean, you got to understand, man, Ooh. tears let back the pain that you're going through at the time. So when you're dealing with something like that, you have to let it out. If you don't let it out, man, you become suicidal, no. very mental, uh, no. unsustainable, and all kind of shit. I mean, excuse my language, but yeah, that's what no. really goes down. So you don't want that. No. Yeah. How does that, how does, no, call her, look, call her. Remember, dog, I'm going to show you, it was, it was 1983, I was a little lad, and when this happened, my, my, I, I yeah, went it up, yeah. but not, it wasn't a woman, it was a sport, it wasn't a woman, it wasn't a woman yeah, that made me cry. Say, what is say? Okay, listen, you must say been in love like I've been in love. <laughs> You must say felt Lenny. the pain that I felt. Yeah, you Lenny. remember the song with Lenny? You remember the song when Lenny was singing the song? And he said, you must say been in love like I've been in love. So you ain't been in love like Dog, I've been in love. You, are I'm you, you right actually now. crying in front of a woman to show her madness? So when you cry, do you boo-hoo? Do you wait nah, no boo-hoo, no. Does she wipe her teeth? Look, does she rub you on the top part of your back, the bottom? How does it work when you cry? What did she? Did yeah, she, she take her? Rub my head. She you, just rubbed my head. She rubbed her fingers through my head, which I ain't got no oh help. She rubbed her fingers through my head. You understand? Say so. Why did she give you a bald head massage? Right. Can we move on? Call yeah. her. 
It's nothing wrong. Oh, you know, it sounds like you have a healthy relationship. Oh man. You want to grow old. Oh, oh my God, Zach. Exactly. Yeah. You're going to lose that. You're going to lose out from that crown. I'm going to tell you right now, my man. You're going to lose out from that crown. Oh, you're no. going to lose out Call her. Call her. I will cry more if I lost in Call of Duty or a game of Madden. Because you don't have a soul, Steve. You don't fair. You're not in. You know when Steve's going to cry? Steve, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Me. Oh, hold on for a second. Hold on for a second, caller. Steve is going to cry when he walk his daughter down the aisle. No, no. Oh, uh, no. okay. No, you know who my uh, heroes are. Ebe caller Ebenezer Scrooge, uh, Mister 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 Wonderful and Shark Tank, uh, Gordon Ramsay, Simon Cow, I and Larry David. I love assholes because that's how I work. And look, if you want to cry. Make sure you get your panties and everything with her and just cuddle with her. I mean, it's okay. And, and listen, if you want to cry, I'm not knocking you, but I'm telling you, she's going to see you as a sucker if you cry, dog. Because she's going to be like, oh, my God, girl, he cried. Yeah, I think yeah. I do. Cry in front of her. All right, can we move on? We have another clip. All right, Carla, we got to go on. But, Carla, I'm glad you cried, okay? You're really manly. Yeah, man. All right, yeah. yeah. Guess what? You know what? Me and we cry. cry together, man. Just no, know that. No, bullshit. No, you call, <laughs> hey, call my show in the hour. There ain't no wrong with that, sir. No wrong with it. Oh, and I'll cuss you out. There's everything wrong with that shit. Don't y'all be crying. All right, D, D. Let's go ahead and play some of these clips. Gentlemen, don't you cry around a woman. So you Stop. don't like that song by the OJs? No, I no, no, that's, come on, man. That's a song, man. That, that's a classic. Why do y'all guys? Why do why do y'all? That, that was a number one song. That was a classic. So, D, come on. You know you women. You know what it's like. Tell me how you feel. Express yourself. I want you to open up to me because I want our love to be deeper. Well, okay, baby. I want to let you know that you know it, it really hurt my feelings when I saw you with that guy. She was like, ugh, ugh. Uh, like, oh, maybe because that guy was treating me better. Hey, she uh, here you go. Yeah, uh, she's gonna be like a, a dude. Oh, uh, I can't, I can't. Did he actually cry? Hey, hey D, how's that? I just want to tell you that I'm so glad that I can cry now. Thank you. I feel, I, I just, I just feel like our love is stronger now that. Oh, you let me cry. And she going to say, you sissified punk. Gentlemen, don't let him do this. All right, D, let's get to the clips. Gentlemen, do not cry. Men don't cry. And if you're going to cry, find somewhere else to cry. <laughs> hey, hey, look, now, if your football team lose. Can, can we get to the fucking clips, Steve? Like, come on. You love to talk. A woman ever tell you that you talk too much? I like talking. That's I why know, but I, a, a, a woman has a woman ever said you talk too much? No, because I can spit that. Let me be the first to say you talk too much. I like talking. What's up, girl? I can no, talk. No, like shut up. <laughs> That's one thing women don't like. We don't like for you to keep running your mouth. Shut up. My mouth, because my tongue action is so good. All right, let's go and play this joint. Come on. But there are few. What's that say? We have a lot of intelligent women, but there are few wise women. A wise woman can get a man to do whatever she wants him to do but make him think he thought of it. That part. One example. I remember seeing this pastor that had come to church one time. He preached a message and he told the ladies, he said, ladies, he said, let me show you how to just use your head. Say you're sitting in the room and your man getting ready to get up and he grabs the door handle, get ready to open the door. And you stop and you say, hey, stop, hold it. Don't move. And he's startled. He's saying, what, what, what is it? She said, it's just something about how you grabbed that donut. It just did something to me. And he going to say, Oh, you want to see me do it with that? Okay. That's all y'all got to do with us. Okay, we'll give you all our money. We do everything. If you can just, because see, you can't buy me and things. Mm -hmm. But what you can do is edify him. Mm -hmm. Tell him that he did something good because, especially with men nowadays coming from some of the households they come from, you might be the first person that's ever made him feel like he is something. Mm -hmm. We have a lot. Wait, wait, let's uh, let's talk oh, on that. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love no, no, it. No, no. Ladies, is gonna shock you, ladies. This is going to shock all you ladies out there. But D, I've always said that y'all women got game. I'm not gonna say I cannot not because women have enough game on their pinky to run game on a sucker. 
Well, first of all, that man wasn't a school. He was old school. He was old school. Turn your uh, turn your audio down a little bit so it could be a little bit balanced. That man was old school. And he said, like, we don't want you to buy us stuff. This is what Pygmisha's always buying men stuff. And honestly, buy, buy that man whatever you want because I'm the bitch that's going to be in the house wearing the jersey that you bought him with no panties on. <laughs> so yeah, you keep buying him shit while the real woman who he likes, who, who he's going to choose at the end of the day, he's going to choose the one that didn't buy him anything. So yeah, it's men don't want you to buy them anything. If anything, they want to spend on you but how do you get a man to spend on you without you having your hand out because that is a turn off and it is a way that you do it and that man just laid it out so he's old school classy gentlemen the woman that validates you is the woman that's going to control you because the thing that okay if she uses her femininity and jd id i'll give y'all credit y'all get them suckers you hey y'all get 98 percent of them suckers this way oh my god i like how you hold the door oh really Really? Oh, okay. I'm gonna hold the door this way because she said it. Because my <laughs> that, that line that they just ran down, that will work perfect on you. And for women, because I, I saw your video, you want a donut shop. <laughs> no, no, no. You saw the video, donut. Because so, I. Yeah. No, wait, 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 wait. So, so that same woman, if she was a reverse, I like, oh, I, I, I love the way you hold your phones, very commanding. Then, then you, you that type of like, you like this? Oh, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I only like Androids. You no. would have been talking about the phone and the type of phone. You're the guy that that will work on. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just saying that this is. Oh, wait, wait. And that's woman in a donut shop if she would have said i love the way you hold your phone there's something about you in that phone you would end up buying her a donut no she would have bought me a donut no you she would have complimented I, something on you then you would be like oh really yeah this is blah 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 blah, blah. you would have been running your mouth and blah 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 and then you would have been buying her the donut next time i'm gonna do i'm telling next time i'm gonna tell you, you buy me a donut because you saw the lady at the cash was like yeah i was smooth you, she said i was smooth so i was smooth she would have got me a donut but that's not the point I'm trying to help you back. I'm trying to give you ladies some a little bit of a little bit of something here, ladies. Ladies, you ladies can control 98% of these suckers out there. And I've always told you that. Now listen, faith factor. Wait, let me tell you, faith factor. I agree with you with at 98%. You ain't that with a man, but I will tell you, you can, hey, ladies. Yes, we are the prize. Because you know why we're the prize with the man? We don't want who validate you. We're the ones that make more women want you. <laughs> We're the ones as soon as as soon as a man flirt with a woman and other women see that, they're gonna be like, oh, who is he? Who who is this guy that he's flirting with her and she's flirting back? Or or you know, if he's with his woman, whether they're walking down the hallway or walking down the street and she fly, she comp she's making him look better, which up his standard to make other women want to flock to him. Okay, L listen. So we are the prize. Okay, gentlemen, it's the problem. See, y'all guys, when you first see him, what do y'all do? She's so beautiful. She's so sexy. So let me go ahead and kiss her ass. Let me go ahead and blow her up. Let me go ahead and feed her and all this other stuff. And then the real ones they go to is us that say, you got to work for our attention. You have to work for our time. You have to work for our respect. Man, no, no, no. Five job. You asked for my number. You want me to work at nine to five? You ain't paying me. Get out of here. Listen, listen, because y'all, they give, they just want to smash. We, we, we ain't doing that. You got to prove that you're worth me, my time. You and approached I, me though. Yeah, you know what? I did, right. I approached you, but I'm just trying to see how you're moving. Your body is not I'm, I'm gonna be moving, not moving, but you approach me, which I'm moving a certain way. That's why you approach me. But you approach me, but you want me to work a nine to five and while you sit on your ass. I tell you, ladies, y'all have game. I'm trying to help. I'm, I'm complimenting you, ladies. You have game and you can get a sucker. I'm telling you, ladies, you can get 98% of those losers out there right now. Ladies, keep telling you on your phone right now, all those losers right there, you can make them do whatever you want them to do. But you know that guy that you really want is that guy telling you no. He's telling you goodbye. And he's saying, I don't really need you because I can replace you with somebody else. Those are the ones you don't have control over. But I'm giving her credit. You have over 98%. You got credit. 
let me interject something. Yes. The moment you say, um, I don't need you because I could get somebody else. I do, we don't. The, the moment you say I could get somebody else is the moment to where she is the one on top. Like you just, you just validated her and you just belittled yourself. You made yourself seem small when you, anytime you bring in outside people into whatever you're trying to explain or whatever point you're trying to get across, you become the weak person. So I love it. I, I would love it. I would love it when a man say to me, well, I could get someone else. To Bye. Because all that, that automatically he's weak. You just weakened yourself. And I won checkmate. See, gentlemen, that's why so stop I, saying I yeah. can replace you. That's a weak move. Yeah, no, no, you don't need to tell her you replace. She's going to know that she can be replaced because you have a man that has options is going. She's going to realize a man that has options. You just said that's what you would say. So, 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 gentlemen, as I say to you guys, I don't. I want y'all to be. No, careful. no, honey, I am the most dangerous. I am the most. I'm not doing anything. I'm me. I'm she. Okay. Really, really? gentlemen. Really? Gentlemen, yes. I, I, gentlemen. I don't want you guys getting ran by women. I don't want you guys ending up on the corner of he's a loser in the friend zone. And I don't want you guys to live on the other street called no booty. Let's hang out. I don't want you to do that. And that's why we're saying to you guys out there, learn the game. Because the more you learn the game, the more you have control on the woman, man. I know that made no sense. I know, Jane. That made no sense. Okay, but that made no sense. That's how you sound. Okay, but that made no sense. You sound like a woman. You sound like a man. Next video, please. Can we get to the next video, please? Uh oh, let me see. So we can so we can educate these guys, stop cupcaking What's over. That saying that for, for men, if they like you or if they they know they want you, they're gonna do whatever they have to do to pay attention to you, give you that attention. Uh, keeping communication with you. I dated this guy. I was dating several guys at the time. And, um, <laughs> you know, I just had to get the little late. <laughs> Can we pause that real quick? Can we pause that real quick? See that? See Dana? Gentlemen, this is what I keep trying to tell you, man. Don't think you're the only guy. You're not. Especially if you don't have any game. If you don't have any game. She is. Hey, listen, the part, thing about wanting to have game, Dana. We tell them to find other people. This is only a 40 second clip. I'm sorry, Dana. Just it got, I just I want my guys to see this. But go ahead. She's seeing other people. I'm sorry, Dana. Please continue. No, no, go ahead. Let, let's let's continue. Let's continue. This. <laughs> uh anyways, he um there was one super needy, super needy. So you're saying overwhelmed. I was extremely overwhelmed. You're like, what are you doing? What are you doing tonight? What are you doing in two hours? Right. And obviously it was a turnoff, so I wasn't communicating to his, him as much. I also was not as attracted to him either. So for that other guy I was dating who I was attracted to, who was giving me days between communication, now I'm saying to him, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Hey, what are you doing on Saturday? I think there's the, the level of attraction and how you feel about that person is going to uh, dictate how you communicate with somebody with, a, with or without the, the technology. So. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, D, wait, D. D, this is what I'm talking about. Are, are, are you kidding? Is this, is this a joke, Mark? Mark, are you, is this a joke? Are, are you, are you, and look, I, 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 I hope you, Mark, he, he's got to be on your side. That's on your side. That's one of your people. That's got to be one of your people. He ain't on my side talking like this. Who in the, ladies, food. Mark, you are food to a woman. A woman is going to see you as a straight up weak bitch. What the? What are you talking about? What? How can a man? How can a man be sassy? How can a man be sassy? You know, okay. Here's the thing about the soft man era. We we kind of get it. We won't be able to get into all of it. But wait a second. Wait, but let me say this. The problem with that is you're not supposed to be sassy. So that's the problem. So so it's like sometimes I do have to regulate some of the men in the chat. Like I just told Dangerous, you know, that comment was very thin. Um, so because it's not natural for men to have thin traits. What is um, it? Unless, unless you play on that team. D D D what I what this is the thing, this is the problem. The problem is a lot of males out there 
feel like they can make the heaven my whiskey up high no okay as i was saying there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of males today feel like they can make demands on women when they can't even get one woman oh my god really bill see bill talk bill talk crap to me but she see the fan and she'll give you some love yes sometimes because look it was a military helicopter that flew over honey and you know you know we, we had a for world war three by iran so i'm like are y'all practicing because yeah. what's what's going on so i just got a flash because i get i get flashes when i get nervous honey yes and i got a fan no, the daughter is, honey, has to fan herself. Now I've got to defend. Now you now, Richard. This is what I hate the most, Richard. You you don't know the what I hate the most is not the sassy women like Southern Bill that that say things to me, and it's not Dana that's off of what she's saying. What I hate the most is that now I've got to give you an honest assessment of the false accusation that you made. As a man, we do not complain or cry or bitch or whine or moan. So you're saying the problem with our black women. No, the problem with you. See, here's the problem. There is no problem with black women. It's just that you're just not man enough for her to change her attitude or her mindset because most of you weak ass suckers Always want to sit there, and I hate this, guys. Guys, y'all know this, guys. You know that I, I I hate defending women, but I'm not gonna let you say this one, man, because it's not the black woman that's the problem. It's most of you weak, soft ass black males that don't know how to move like men. So what you want to do is blame her attitude. Well, let me tell you something. If she's got a fucked up ass, I gotta say the first. If her attitude is all fucked up, then why are you taking her out to dinner? If her attitude's all fucked up, why are you spending time with her? If her attitude's all fucked up, why are you running behind her? So the thing is not the black woman because everything has to fall on the man because we lead those. So if she is messed up, then you're the messed up individual and she saw that you were weak as fuck. And I'm just saying, I hate doing this because you motherfuckers always want to sit around and blame i don't care if she's blue green yellow or orange y'all always want to point the finger at them but you never want to look in the mirror at yourself to say wait a second why is was she what she doing you the guys that's calling her modern you the guys that's calling her a whore and a slut you the guys telling her she's easy you the guys that want to sit there and try to get some ass from her the first night and don't even know anything about her but then when she don't want to give you the ass all of a sudden she's got an attitude she don't want to date you. All of a sudden, she ain't shit. Now, it's one thing for her character, but you guys don't even look at the character. A lot of you guys want to sit around here and get mad at them. Well, here's the thing. Who wants to date a, 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 a guy who has a tighter pussy than she has? So if you want to sit around and blame motherfuckers, which you can, but we got to listen. As men, we don't blame anybody. We take accountability. And if she de has a bad attitude, dismiss her. If she's disrespectful, dismiss her. If she doesn't want to ride your program, dismiss her. But don't sit around and say all, oh, because that's like saying this. Every white woman should hold her purse and walk across the street when she sees a black man. We cannot generalize because that's a bad thing, young man. So do not generalize anybody. Base, all, base everybody on how they treat you. Stop looking at how they treat your loser-ass friends. Base every woman on how she treats you. I, and now, y'all guys, y'all know I hate saying that. Y'all, Hey, guys, I had to say it, though, because you're absolutely wrong. If you want to call in Richard to defend your point, call in. But don't sit around and say a certain race of women because your problem is not just with black women. Your problem is with all women because you can't get no pussy because you can't get any pussy. You want to talk shit. Men don't talk shit. We move on and move forward. But I'm sorry. I didn't mean to run that, but I'm just I'm just keeping it a buck, man. There's not bad in this world. There is. You're going to follow my program, but there's the door. But don't sit around and complain that red pill rhetoric or that manosphere rhetoric and you can't handle and again i don't want to say handle as in you can't handle a strong independent black woman. please let that be this motherfucker 713 what's your question what's up 713 yeah we gotta let you go Hold on, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. 
you're saying that patterns don't exist. No one's saying patterns don't exist. The question is, don't the pattern, what are you going to do about it? If you see the pattern, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to reward the pattern? Are you going to take that pattern out to eat? Are you going to kiss the pattern's ass? Don't act like you guys don't see the pattern. If she's mistreating you, talking down to you, and popping her gums, why are you entertaining a nothing and a nobody? Now, G Dog, I'm going to sing even louder. Come on, man. I'm going to sing even louder because you told me to stop singing because you can't hear. Steve just went on a ramble for five minutes breaking down this weak man. So, yes, you're going to hear me sing. So, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I want you to come in. Wait, wait, wait. You're keeping it a buck. How am I pandering? I'm, not, I'm keeping it real with you. I, I listen. I, I, right now, I don't give a fuck about what women do. It's not in my business. I'm gonna get the Beyonce cancer like ah, ah, yeah. For a lot of you, for a lot of you males out there, you know your fuck game is weak. You know your mouthpiece is weak. You know you're scared, feminine. But what you want to do is you want to blame them for your inadequacies instead of looking in the mirror and be honest with yourself, knowing that you ain't shit. So if you ain't shit and she recognizes you ain't shit, she's going to treat you like a bitch, which you should be treated like one. So you can't complain. So please tell me how I'm pandering when I keep, I told you I keep it a buck. You know, you should know, if you know me well enough, you know I'll keep it a buck. Let's keep it going. Oh, I don't care what you say, though. Black so, women know who we talking about. They don't care. Yeah, 609, what's your name? What's your question, sir? What's up? Yeah, it's not really much of a question. It's more of a comment. Um, I don't you. Um, sir, okay, you got it. Sorry? Sir, what is that beep in the background? Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry about that. Okay, sorry about what's going on? How um, it's not, it's not really much of a question. I, I 100% agree with you. There's a lot of cupcakes out here. There's a lot of bitch, excuse me, excuse my language, a lot of bitch cupcakes out here. And I really think you need to be assertive and let the, know, let the woman know from the jump on how the program's going to be. If, 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 you, if you haven't built yourself to that status mentally, physically, emotionally, financially into a true, a true man, a true alpha male that I knew, like the dean that, you know what I mean, that you're definitely spitting. Then, 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 then you should not really be in the game. You should go fix yourself first, improve yourself, develop yourself. Then, 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 then come talk to them, and then it will, then they will get on your program. Right. And you have to show results. You just yeah. can't talk it. You have to walk it too. Right. I'm not saying this you bad. have to walk it. I'm, I'm taking the color out because the game doesn't see color right. I'm saying attitude and character. Right. There are bad right. people on both sides of the aisle. Bad with a lot of these red pill motherfuckers. They're, they're the detriment of this society right now. And then there's a lot of bad women. But what men need to know is that you have got to recognize the character of somebody and let them go beyond looking at their ass and titties. A lot of guys right. will bypass an attitude for sex. They will bypass disrespect for sex. And I'm saying that how can you sit there and say all all black women or all green women or all blue women and you can't even get a woman? That's what blows my fucking mind. You can't even get a yeah. woman, but yeah, you want to talk about all women as if you fucking. Because if you get a lot of women, you know that's not true. Because a woman is not going to do that to a real man. They'll do that to a sucker. That's a fact. That's that. I'm sorry. Right. Man, and, and and women are very smart. They they they, they know a sucker from a, from a mile away, maybe three miles away. Exactly. You know, game, game, recognize game. So they know who to target. See, like respectfully, you know what I mean? And I, 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 I agree with most of the things that shout out to Dana. Cause I, you know, I love you Dana as well um, for what you bring to the table. But um, it, it, it really, you have to, you have to build yourself first. Maybe, maybe that takes five years, seven, you need to be in that basement working and then you can come out. But if you haven't graduated, um, then, then you can't really predict anything, but I, I, I'll, 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 you know, leave it at that. And, you know, respect to you and Dana. Um, so, I mean, for me, uh, for me, it's easy for me, you know, because I built myself from the inside out, not the outside in. All right, well, you know, we'll that's throw, a difference. All right, we'll throw you back in. We so. appreciate the call, brother. Thank you so much. And again, yes, sir. All right, see, yes, this, sir. See, you, you guys, y'all know how y'all can tell people ain't getting pussy by the pussy ass shit they say. How can a woman that be... makes no sense. Most women are average on so are they so they're above average on Sunday? What, what the fuck is wrong with dog? <laughs> what happens during the weekday? When when are they above average on Sunday when they go to church? 
Man, do y'all see why women run y'all bitch ass guys? Do y'all see white <laughs> man fear, the red pill, and following all these goofy ass games? Y'all talk more about women than you talk about yourselves. You should be talking about yourself. I don't care what that woman is, okay? Wait a second. He says, Anyway, D, go ahead. Let's keep going because we don't have much time. What's going on, D? D, let's get to the next one. Here we go. Let's keep going. Here we go. Guys, we're about to chop some game up. Let's go, D. What you got? What's the next thing you got for us? Um, wait a minute. Fix your audio, Steve. Hey, anyway, what's up? Come on. Give us the next thing. Wait a minute. Sitting over here singing them raggedy Beyonce songs. First of all, listen. Uh, what's a good one here? I had one different. I want a different. I want a different. Then, oh, this one is good. Oh, God. Here we go. Um, oh, it's a new era. It's a, it looks like a Panera's commercial. <laughs> <laughs> All right. P please, please tell me. Brothers' hearts are fragile. When we go through heartbreaks, man, it's hard to recover. I'm telling you. It's yes. hard to recover. Oh. And since no one has taught us how to recover properly we usually recover very destructively callous we gotta heart. fuck some we, shit we, up first we callous we, we numb that heart yeah and never we just don't return bring, back to bring, return back page to out man yeah. man bro i'm bro, I'm smashing everything everything bro. everything, bro. everything. Right. I, bro, I feels it's, it's easier yes yeah. for us to do yeah. than to go into digging into yeah. that heart and and, and and to dig into that heart and to ask yourself why did this hurt until men are ready to ask himself, why does this hurt? They'll keep hurting because even a doctor asks you, where does it hurt? And until you identify, until you acknowledge where the pain is, he can't help you. Because I was changing so. Dan, I'm going to let you go first on this bullshit. I know you're laughing. See, she, see, she laughing. She's laughing. She's laughing because she knows that's a bullshit, guys. I mean, Don't want me to sing some more Beyonce. <laughs> guys, gentlemen. This is the thing, no, some of what he said was actually true because oh gosh. when y'all get a broken heart, y'all do turn cold. Y'all do run around and just screw everything or whatever. So that part is true. I have witnessed that. Oh, I, think, I think for me is do men need a safe space? Yes. And I think the safe space should be like in a group session amongst other men. The oh. thing is when you actually see it online publicly in social media, you know, I, I don't want to downplay that because I'm very big on mental health, but it does come off kind of weird when you say men are fragile. It does come off kind of soft and weak, but the aspect of when we when men get a broken heart, y'all y'all do take it differently. I just become cold and hard and screw everything in sight or whatever. That is true. <laughs> well, you know, when I had my broken heart, you know, in 1983, when I got my heart broken, this moment right here, um, I learned a very valuable statement. Listen, gentlemen, this is why we tell you guys when you meet women. Take your heart and put it in your fucking pocket. Stop leading with your fucking feelings and you won't get heartbroken and all fem gentlemen. I'm telling you, when she smells, you got a tight pussy. She's not gonna respect you. When y'all get in an argument and then you want to go back and baby, I'm sorry. Let's work it out. I didn't mean to lose you. She's got you. Well, when yeah. she Sometimes a man, a man heart, he breaks in silence. He doesn't tell anyone or that woman. It's just that he deals with it internally, but the actions that he expresses externally is hard, you know, sleeping around with everything, with, with everything and everyone. So yeah, yeah, I do that, you know. Uh, wait, full of faith. I want to. I want to acknowledge faith factor. Faith, yes. Hi, faith. This is a dope collaboration and topic. Dana, you and Steve have fire chemistry. Keep it up. Thank you. Because I'm logic, I give it balance, uh, faith. Because her emotions are all over the place. She's about to tell you something emotional that I'm gonna have to correct. So please, Dana, go ahead with your church of Beyonce emotional, your spew that's gonna get corrected. I've been waiting my whole life. 
Gentlemen. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. I don't know. Maybe it's the it's the it's the cowboy hat, honey, that's giving me the energy. Maybe, and this is the problem. I'm gonna have to put this in my budget of buying a new cowboy hat every month. So I oh, think that oh. should I keep wearing a cowboy hat during the show? I should have put that in a poll, but honey, I, I can't wait for the concert because I'm ready to see the of uh, the the effects, the stage effects, you know. Uh, when she when she sings that song, Two Hands to Heaven. See, that's that's the move I'm in. I want my two hands to heaven. I want to go party on Venus and end up on Mars. Can you do that? Well, we was partying. That's why we crash landed here, because we was going to that orgy and we crash landed on Earth. And I'm sorry, guys. I, see, I'm still trying to find a flex capacitor. And that's the see, that's that's the problem I'm having, because running into perverse or just. Or just, just people like that, like or just no, like stop. You just, you just messed it all up. No. Oh man, hey guys, I'm just saying, gentlemen, listen, stop all that hurting, man. That is a weak trait. Listen again, if you want to hurt, hurt on your own privately, and nobody's saying, guys, you shouldn't hurt and you shouldn't feel sad and you shouldn't cry. I, I'm just saying, if you want to do that, don't do that around your woman. She needs a man that has strength. She doesn't want to date her girlfriend. Keep that away. And with this guy saying, let's go back and break this silly, that silly thing down. Wait, let's go back and let's go back to that, that silly stuff that he said. Can we break that down real quick, please? Can we look at that? And break it? Think brothers' hearts are fragile. Stop right there. Stop when right we there. go through heartbreaks. Oh my God! What the? What in the flying? Okay, our heart. Man, let me go grab. Me. Say by the bell. Nine one zero. What's your name? What's your question? What's up? All right, uh, Jay, twenty three, New York City. Yes, Jay. How can we help you, sir? What's up? Yeah, so I was wondering. Um, so like, basically, if you go somewhere, right? So you my phone. Jay, you go Jay, out, right? Jay, speak up a little bit. If you have an iPhone, shake it a little bit because the reception is pretty bad. But what's up, man? All right. Yeah, my phone, my phone, sir. So, so you go outside, right? And yes. You meet and like, you know, you out and like, now I just had a question for you. Why do, why do some women like, you know how a woman is talking to you? Like sometimes women are talking to me. They don't smile or nothing. They don't really show no interest. Well, no choosing okay, to okay. Well, I understand. Uh, caller, I'm not. I'm. Not, I'm, I'm gonna say this with love, okay? Because I always I can keep it a buck. Okay. They're only gonna smile when the person that they are talking to is interesting. And if you're not interesting and you are boring, women are going. Now let me. I'm gonna give. I hate this, but I gotta give them credit. Okay. So when you open your mouth. A woman is going to go back into the past, think about the future, hit the present like that. You want to know why? Because unfortunately, she's what? met you before. And when you open your mouth, she already knows your story. And your story is, what do you do for a living? When was your last boyfriend? Is it okay if we go on a date? What are you looking for? And then if you get a little bit of tail, you're the same guy that's going to be like, damn, girl, I think I'm falling in love with you, man. I never I never felt the warmth of your body like this before. Then it's going to tie into, well, where are you going? Why are you talking to that guy? Then it's going to go into, you know what? Why are you speaking to that guy? Where you been? It's, it's, hey, it's, it, it, hey, it's 9 o'clock. Where are you at? You should be at work right now. So what I'm saying to you, caller, is that women – already know what you are when you open your mouth and that woman heard you open your mouth and realized that you and i say this with love you ain't fucking correctly he already knows but what that I, you can't you oh, ain't that sorry. guy to push her knees back to her shoulders you're not that guy right yes no but what i'm saying is like even when it comes to like just the greeting part like the beginning the approach when we first meet each other or see each other well, yeah, very we serious. probably do game time later on tonight. When Let you're me talking say this. Let me say this. Also, I, I understand what the caller is saying because it's a lot of young women or females, I would call them females, they don't smile. So a lot of times it's not even the man that approached them. It's just their attitude. They just don't smile. So to your point, I understand what you're saying, caller. So if you approach a woman that you may think is attractive, but you notice she doesn't smile, don't deal with that. You want to deal with pleasantries so that's, 
that's a red flag if she does not smell. And if you, even if you bring it up or whatever, and some women push back against smelling, you got to understand that's a red flag and she got issues. But Steve, there is a, there is a, there is a trend of these young girls, these young women, young females. They just don't smell. They just have this. But, okay, but you got to look, okay. Danny, you have to understand that these women run into losers a lot of the matter. time. It does not matter. Because just like the other caller that called in that woman that want to know how to be more feminine, part of being feminine, no matter what that man is, you can carry yourself as a lady is being pleasant. You don't got to be cheesy up in a man's face. Right. But even if you're by yourself, walk with your cheekbones up because it's a natural face. You see, I'm smiling. You see my teeth all the time. Even if I'm cussing somebody out, you're going to see my teeth because it's a natural facelift. It makes you look younger. Man, let's talk about the maturity. A lot of women are running the grown men still in high school. Hey, baby, yo, mama, what's up, girl? Hey, yo, say, hey, come here, girl. Let me holler at you. I so, like, oh, I, excuse, I don't, who are you talking to, sir? Oh, you're talking to me. I'm sorry. I don't respond to that. Have a good day. Bye. Uh, That's call it, me. Call it, what are you Hi, saying? Why are you, yeah. All that, it, 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 no. Carla, what are you saying to women? What are you saying to the woman when you see her? Uh, I approach her. Uh, I introduce myself, you know, and then I try to have a conversation. I try to start what? a conversation about with about how what? is her day going? Wait, stop right there. Oh. All right, let's, okay. I'm going to show you. This is why we do our pineapple show. Listen to me. Let me ask you a question. Let's be honest. Yeah. Do you give a fuck how her day is going? Stop. Not really. That's how you okay, say stop, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, listen to me. If you don't give a fuck, they're going to recognize you don't give a fuck. And guess what they're going to recognize also? Behind that lie and being disingenuous of how's your day going means that all you're doing is trying to fuck. And that's what's turning them off because you're coming in. Let me say this. You don't have to say how's your day. You could just say hello. You know, or however the conversation is, you could say how are you doing? How you, that's that's just that's just general. I'm, and then she said, "I'm doing well. How about yourself?" I'm like, "I'm doing good." And then you proceed with a conversation. It's not. Listen, it's not. It's, it's stop. Right. And I, sometimes, Steve, when you say, "Oh, you don't give a f," you you thinking too much, Steve. With that, it's not about you not caring. I'm talking about polite. Be polite. Whether you end up in a relationship, whether you don't get get her number, whether you end up, it does not matter. Especially for a woman. Always be polite. I'm not saying not to be polite. polite too. So, so it's not about oh, do you really care how her day is? So don't ask her that. Don't you ask. don't have to ask her how her day. Just say, hey, how are you? I'm well. How about yourself? Oh. I'm doing great. And then you put. Listen, that's that's a good icebreaker for someone who is mature. I'm sorry. Icebreaker is ex a, a introducing well, yourself. You call her. I'm lying. Do you, do you know, call it, do you know how many other guys have said the same line since junior high school to this woman? Stop being like everybody else. Introduce yourself. Right. Let her know why you're there. Get to the point and move on. But the problem is you don't know how to move yourself or communicate yourself. So you think by asking her boring questions that you seem like you're interested, that you're doing something. Don't do it. Stop asking her how her day is. Stop asking her what she's doing. Stop asking her anything and start telling her. Yeah, Carla, what is the rule? What is the rule of Jill Scott? You know what is the rule of Jill Scott? Yeah, that's that's not a rule. It's not honestly, Jill Scott is not talking about at the initial hello. So so stop stop trying to use the rule of Jill Scott because you're taking it out of context. I'm just saying if he if he sees if he, listen, call and listen, Steve. If you see an attractive woman, just a simple hello, how are you? I'm well. How about yourself? And then the conversation proceeds, and then you then you need a follow up. Not oh, I agree. You don't ask. Well, how's your day? Or no, but the fact is that you gotta know how to follow up. When she said, "I'm doing well. How about yourself?" When well, I'm doing great, then what do you want to say after that? Because you approach me. What do you want to say? Bad. Don't after the greetings. Call her. You want to lose? Do that BS. No, it's yeah. not. It's not losing. The problem is, what do you say after the greeting? Well, oh, after the greeting, what do I say? Um, I'm going to be honest. Mostly, I might ask her, like, uh, if she, uh, I might ask her if she knew 
around the area. Right, 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 you know? right, right. My whole point. So you've already okay. So she's not saying that. Why are you cutting him off? Well, because he needs to learn something. She's saying, look here at that loser. She's either saying he is a sucker or he's creepy talking to me like he even knows me. All right. So listen, all right. If you, it depends on where you are, it depends on the situation. So if you walk up to a woman, but like, um, hello, she's like, hello, you know, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Shut up. I'm doing great or whatever. And you say, are you new to this area or whatever? I never, you know, I live around, I never saw you, whatever. If she say, yes, I am new to the area, then what? Oh, man. Um, I might go and be like, that's pretty, um, that's pretty cool. Um, usually I just try Usually, I like ask her a Snapchat or like her Instagram. Uh, man, young young man. Man. No, 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 Steve, stop, 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 Steve, stop rushing it. I'm the reason let... why, yo, finish up with him because we got to stop, Steve, relax. My God, this is terrible. The reason why, the reason, turn, turn, your, adjust your audio. The reason why I'm asking you that, sir, because I need for you to hear yourself. I need for you to hear that. You really don't know what to say next, or you you could tell that you're nervous. You could tell that what you're saying is like a pickup line that's not working. That is why I'm just saying, okay, you say hello, how are you? I'm well. What do you want to say next? Okay, what do you want to say next after that? Because if you are approaching a woman, you got to have what you want to say to whatever you want from her. If you want to get her number, whatever, you got to have that down pat. So the reason why I wanted to just walk it through with you and have you say it out loud, you realizing yourself that I don't have a good pickup line. I sound nervous. I'm tripping up on what I should say next and saying, how are you? Are you new to the area? Is not the right approach. Sometimes you have to say it out loud to hear yourself to know that is wrong. Not have someone with a foot on your neck yelling at you all the time. Yes. Uh, right. Uh, so wait, is this your is this your guy? Because if he's not, I'm definitely I, I don't want no bitch ass. That's your guy. Is that your guy? No, I don't know. I call, 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 call not you, young man. You okay? This is your guy? I don't know. He said I don't know who Diana is, so you could do what you want with him. No, no I'm talking about this 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 bitch ass. Know, this you, guy. Could you, you could block uh, him. You could put him uh, on. Uh, him. I don't know who Diana. Uh, Anyway, okay. So what I what I'm what I'm saying to you, young man, look, what I want you to do is I want you to call in in a little while. We have game time, and I'll give you an opportunity to talk to a woman. Okay. We'll, yeah, we'll, let we'll, me ask we'll, something, call her. So when I asked you, okay, what will you say next? Did did you hear yourself? Did you recognize that you really don't have a good pickup line? Yeah, I, I don't. I can admit that. Okay. So the, I, I just try my best, and that's, that's what I'm saying, Carla. The problem is, is that you don't have any game, and and there's nothing exciting about you that a woman wants to uh, really keep the conversation going. Because you, you you gotta have you gotta learn the game, Carla. You gotta learn the game. But it, look, Carla, what okay. we're gonna do? Because we gotta let Dana go, so we're gonna let her get a few minutes in. So what I want you to do is, I want you to call back a little bit later. We'll probably have game time where you can talk to a woman, okay? And then we can assess no what's problem, going no on problem. because we want to assess you, okay? We definitely, we definitely want to okay. assess you, okay, buddy? So, I, hey, dog, we appreciate the call, but no, hang in there. We got you, okay, big guy? All right. Okay? All right, so uh, okay, uh, okay. Hey, call back, okay, buddy? And we, I like young men like that. At least he's trying it, and it's not yeah, to not. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes let me walk them through it. It's like, because I'm not going to stomp on a neck. I want them to hear themselves. If you, A lot of times, if you hear yourself, you recognize, oh, what I'm going to say next. If you are saying that in your head, then you don't have pick. You don't have a good pickup line. You don't. You don't have games. So pickup lines. That's the problem. If, I'm, I'm saying pickup lines, but whatever, whatever you say, game, whatever the hell. I'm just saying you're not comfortable approaching a woman. To you don't know what to say. You don't know the right thing to say. That's why I want you. That's why I would like to walk them through it so they can hear themselves. So real quick, real quick, tell them, Jay, how did how did get in touch with you? And all that. I'm sorry, I don't need. I don't. Real quick. I did a survey. Should women be a man's safe space? And it's 578 votes. It's 50-50. 50% 50, 50, 50 said no. 50% said yes. And you got 50. And that's why, that's why men need more guidance from men. Those 50. That's sad. 
That so is a shame. Like 50, so yeah, so it's 50, 50. Some people say yes. Some people say no. I'm going to say yes. Men need a safe space. So, but listen, I think I'm going to have this be a thing on Saturday night with the Calvin Carter with the cowboy hats. And I'm going to put in my budget to get more hats. I have to get the boots. I'm about to get my, my Dapper Dan tailored outfit whenever she announced the tour, honey. Don't play with me. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, and and before we let you go, uh, uh, whoever your name is, please call into the show so we have a powwow after this. So, I mean, we, it, 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 you need help, big guy. So if you're man enough, please call on the show. Because right now you want some bitch ass shit and you need a little correction. But anyway, Dana. How can I get in touch with you, Dana? Talk to him. Oh, I want everybody to subscribe to the Dusty Chronicles. I'm almost at 300. Though my one video is the highest ever. Ever is getting like a thousand views. But please subscribe to the Dusty Chronicles. Um, also subscribe to the Real Dana. I want to get to the 100k mark by the end of April, so I'm trying to get that. But um, so yeah, so the Real Dana subscribe and the Dusty Chronicles. Yes. And go get Cowboy Carter. Anyway, for all my guys, we're going to continue this show as we always do, chopping up game for for men. And we always welcome the ladies. Ladies, if y'all want. Everybody in the super chat, everybody in the chat, love y'all on the oh. page, my page. So yes, and uh, wait, uh, 713, hold on one second. We'll get you in one second, sir. But Dana, go ahead, ma'am. Now I was going to say goodnight. Bye. Go ahead, say goodbye. Okay, so call her, hold on. Dana's gone. Hold on one second. Let me add. Oh, wait. Let me add in the camera. There we go. Add the camera in. And you can put the red cup. All right, guys. We got to move out. Dana's people. Guys, if y'all want to come in the man mindset, y'all can. We're going to chop this up. Spit game. But as we always do, we got to give it a, a quick 30. Th thank you to Dana, of course. Give it a quick 30 second break so we can go ahead and make the adjustments. But we want to do this real quick. What up, yo? It's your boy, Paige Kennedy. You already know what it is. And you're listening to the man mindset.com. Dating help for men with your host, Steve the Dean Williams. What's up? This is T.O. And you're listening to the man mindset.com. Dating help for men with your host.